Okay. Is this live again? Do, do, do. Okay. Let's see how this works. Let me know what the lag is like. I honestly haven't been able to find anything in the program that I'm using that helps. Um, like when I pop up settings, it doesn't really show anything. Advanced. Stream delay. No. Okay. Okay, it's working better. Okay, well that's good to hear because I'm using my phone uh, internet. It might have been the internet that I was using before. So, oh yay, people are saying no lag. Okay, much better. Yay, that is great to hear. Okay, off by a few seconds. Okay, it seems to some people, depending on your internet, it might be a bit funny by the sound of it, but this is much better. Okay, I'm not gonna fiddle with anything. I'm going to leave it. So we're back. We are back. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be reorganizing my bookshelves because this here is my unread shelf. Since moving back home, I haven't done anything with it. Pretty much I unpacked all of the books and just put them where they kind of fit. And it's not that great. It's quite messy, to be honest. Um, I've got so much junk on there. So I'm going to be trying to reorganize that today. We'll see how it goes. The book that I'm currently reading, um, well, I'm currently reading these three books. So I'm in the middle of, oh, this is dirty, A Court of Thorns and Roses. I'm almost finished with the audiobook of American Gods and I'm halfway through Lyriel by Garth Nix, which is the sequel to Sabriel. So these are what I'm reading. Very much enjoying them. And yeah, this is honestly quite daunting for me. I'm really scared to do this. Um, I think this might take a little while, guys. Yep, I'm a little bit scared. Um, will I be watching American Gods? Yes, I believe. Is it? Oh, hold on just a second. Um, it's available. Is it through Amazon that American Gods will be available? I will be watching it. It should be available here. I really hope so. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to ask me questions, go ahead. I'll be sporadically answering things uh, as I go. Oh, go to bed. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by briefly anyway. You can definitely watch this after the fact. Um, listen to the audiobook of Gemina while reading along it. It's great. That's awesome. I still haven't listened to the audiobook of Gemina, surprisingly. Um, so I guess first I'm just going to get rid of all the things that's oh, on my shelf. I've got a lot of knickknacks. And a lot of them are Pop Funkos. I've got so much stuff on my shelf. Whoops! You may want to tell everyone in the other chat that you started a new one. I don't know how to access the other chat, unfortunately. This is the only thing that pops up on my screen. Um, I'm pretty sure that the old chat and the new chat is available for me, so I honestly don't know how to do that. Um, can I... I'm just going to quickly see if it pops up on my channel. Okay, I can see that one. I might just quickly go into that video and let everyone know if, I'm, if possible. Um, I might see if I can just delete that other video. That might help. I don't know why YouTube changed things. If it's not broke, why fix it? Um. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I'm just going to have a quick look and see if I can... Just private this other video, maybe that will keep people off it if that's the case, if they're still on it. But um, when I go into the other live stream, it doesn't show up with the chat or anything. 
Hopefully there's not people still waiting. <laughs> okay. I thought Vita is vlog every day in August. I think that it honestly is whatever you want it to be because I used to do Vito, which is vlog every day in October, so you can you can make it April or August if you want. I know a lot of people are doing it in April. Um, I can't remember if you said you love the Akata series. Well, I'm only in the middle of the first book. Uh, so... Yeah, I can't really say much yet because I haven't finished the first book. Um, I'm liking it so far, but it's, like, I'm not super hooked yet. I'm waiting for things to really amp up in the story. Also, I went into it expecting to get more of Reese by now, and everyone's just like, yeah, you, know, you don't see much of him until about two-thirds of the way through, and I'm like, oh, okay then. <sighs> I mean... I've seen a couple of glimpses of him, but that's about it. So I'm just like, okay, apparently there's meant to be more of him. I'm just waiting for it. Have you read any Stephen King? Uh, no, I have not. I, I do want to read some Stephen King, but I'm honestly not sure where to start with it. Especially since quite a, some of his books are, like, massive as well, which is quite daunting. Um... Do you have any idea how many books you own? Jeez. Um, I'm going to estimate at least 500. But that's me estimating based on what I counted like a while ago. So it's probably a, maybe even 600. Something like that. Carrie is a really good starting point. It's shorter and easier to read. Maybe I'll start with that one. Yeah, a lot of people, a couple of people are saying Carrie is a good one to start with, so. I, I don't own any of his books anyway, so eventually I might pick up Carrie as well. Akatar is a little predictable and kind of meh, but Akamath is like, holy shit, this is the best. <laughs> yeah, I've heard Akamath is better, so I'm really excited to get to it when I do finish Akatar. Done with Wise Man's Fear. Yes, I read it ages ago. I've actually just bought the audiobook for The Name of the Wind so I can reread it. I'm kind of thinking it might not be the smartest idea because then I'll want the third book and who knows when that is coming out. Will I dye my hair red again? Absolutely. I definitely intend on dyeing my hair red after a little while. Um, I'm gonna go grey like black then grey again and then blonde and then red because red's really difficult to get out. Um, okay, so I'm thinking, I think I might colour coordinate my shelves again. That's my thought. Um, okay, I don't want to do that. Yeah, I think I'm just going to colour coordinate it because these are all of the books that I haven't read yet so I don't really care if the series are together or not. That's more for my red shelf, I think. So I'm going to stick with colour coordinating. This may take me a while, guys. We might be here for a little while. <laughs> but, um, well, what colour do I want to start with? Um, I'll start with red again. Stick with the rainbow. What about Walking Dead? Have you watched the newest season? I've only watched the first two seasons, I two seasons, sorry, I believe. I think that's all I've watched. I'm not sure if I actually did finish the second season. I can't really remember. It's been a long time, obviously. <laughs> What's my favourite fantasy movie? Oh gosh. Don't ask me on that don't ask me about movies. I don't watch a lot of movies, to be quite honest. I watch a little bit of TV, but, like, my movies are pretty much restricted to Disney and whatever my boyfriend puts on. Um, what is this? What is this? Oh, I need to give that to Alex. That's stuff that he got when he was in Japan. 
Oh, it's been so long since I've organized my bookshelf. This is going to be a hot mess. I think I'm just going to... Oh, guys, I don't know what I'm going to do. This is going to be interesting. Okay. Are you up to date with Throne of Glass? No, I haven't read Empire of Storms. It is still on my TBR shelf. I will get to it eventually. Oh, okay. Another dilemma I have. It's always tricky doing colour coordinated stuff when you have black and white. Because I've seen people putting the blacks and whites in amongst the colours, especially if they've got colours on the spine at all. Or do I want to do it at the end? I think I'm just going to do what I normally do because if I think about it too much, I will never come to a decision. Um, oh, another thing I'm reading. I'm also reading The Complete Sherlock Holmes on audiobook, narrated by Stephen Fry. It is amazing. Would definitely recommend. What time is it in Australia? It is 1.30pm. Have you watched 13 Reasons Why? No, I haven't actually. Um, let's see. At the end, black, green, white. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do that. Otherwise it'll just get too confusing. What are your thoughts on Sarah J Mass's new book, Tower of Dawn? Because I am so excited, I don't know how I feel about it because I'm not one of the people that ships uh, Kale and Selena. I don't know. I'm, I've mixed feelings about him. So, we shall see. I'm really interested to read it though. I think it'll be an interesting one. Absolutely. Oh. Favourite classic? Ooh. I don't read a lot of classics, but... Okay. I actually recently read a short story. Um, last year I read the short story, The Yellow Wallpaper. Oh god, I can't for the life of me think of who wrote it. <gasps> Has anyone... Does anyone know who wrote The Yellow Wallpaper? Gosh, I can't remember. But that was amazing. That was a great short story. Ooh. I don't like Kale too much either. Yay, I'm not the only one. <sighs> oh, guys, I need to do another bookmarks video because these are all of the ones that I've gotten since... I last did my video. I've got a lot. Ooh. Yep. Oh, I go a little bit crazy with the bookmarks. Does anyone else have a bookmark addiction? Charlotte Perkins Gilman. That's the one. Thank you guys. Oh, I'm glad you guys remembered. <laughs> but yeah, that short story is amazing. I loved it so much. Do you like books by Ellen Hopkins? I've read Impulse and Crank by her. I really like them. I don't own any more of her books, so I will have to get some eventually, but I really, really enjoyed them. I do remember liking them. But it's been a long time since I did pick those books up. Um, that would have been towards the beginning of my time here on Booktube, I think. A very long time ago. This probably isn't the most efficient way for me to be doing this. I'm not even... Oh, gosh. I don't even care. Um, I need to give my bookshelf a clean as well. It's super dusty. Whoa. What did I eat last? That's a super random question. I ate a bacon and egg roll for breakfast. And it's lunchtime now. I haven't eaten yet. Um. Are you going to get this month's box for Owl Crate? No, probably not. Um, I do have the Fairy Loot box coming, and I've also bought myself the YA Chronicles, so I don't want to overload myself with book subscriptions. Um. I can't afford to buy multiple, unfortunately. What should reorganizing my bookshelf and making me want to do mine? <laughs> 
<laughs> it's so therapeutic, isn't it? Like, I procrastinate cleaning my room by reorganizing my bookshelves as well. Like, you should see the rest of my room. It is horrendous. I had so much stuff in this corner that I had to move so that I could do this video. Okay. Also, this probably isn't the best time to do this because I've got some back problems, but yeah. Fairy loot looks amazing for this month and next month. I know, they always look so great. I'm so happy that I've um, been getting the fairy loot boxes. Oh, I've been, I've been so, so pleased with them. Um, have you read The Outsiders? No, I haven't. I'm not sure if I... I can't think of who that's by. Have I heard of it? Possibly. Maybe. Who knows? Okay. I probably should have done this beforehand, but... Oh, well. That's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. I think it'll be easier to answer questions when I'm sitting down and just organizing the books rather than clearing them off the shelf as well, so I'll get to that in a sec. Are you planning on doing an unhaul? Yes! I have had books sitting in a box that I've been meaning to get rid of for probably nine months. Close to a year. There might be some books that I decide that I don't actually want to keep while I'm doing this as well, so... Um, yeah, I've been meaning to do an unhaul video for a very long time. I've got quite a lot of books that I want to get rid of. How do you unhaul? Donate? Yeah, I donate them to charity shops. Um, I'm actually going to, I've been in contact with my library to see what they do about taking donations, so I'm probably going to donate some to my library and whatever they don't take I'll donate to charity shops. I also obviously let like my friends know that I'm getting rid of things and then if they want to take anything they can. I mean I would give you guys books if I had the means to do, show, do so, but shipping just costs so much from Australia. I can't afford to pay for shipping books. Not, not right now anyway. It's just too expensive. Um. It's getting squishy in here. Do you watch Pretty Little, Pretty Little Liars? Um, I did start watching it. I. It was a really long time ago. I started watching it when the first seasons were coming out. Um, I probably watched maybe three seasons. I can't remember why I stopped watching though. Yeah. I can't really remember. Most places don't take arcs, I think. Yeah, I think. Like, occasionally I've seen arcs in charity shops, um, which people have donated, but you're not supposed to sell arcs, it's illegal to do so. So, I usually try and give my arcs away to friends um, or other reviewers. Why don't you send unhauled books to others? That's what I just, yeah, that's what I was just answering. I can't afford to send them to people. I do tell my friends that I'm getting rid of books and if they want any, they can claim them and I can give it to them when I see them next, but I can't afford to actually ship anything. Um, I would if I could, but it's just so expensive. Where did I get my bookshelf from? Sorry, it's super dusty. <laughs> my bookshelf has not been cleaned in a while. I got this from Ikea. Do you watch Supernatural? I love Supernatural, but I haven't finished watching it. Is it, which was the last season I watched? Maybe season 10, I think? I'm pretty sure season 10 was the last one that I watched. We haven't watched anything since then. Um, where will I travel to next? Well, I wanted to go back to America at the end of the year for BookNet Fest, but I'm not going to be able to afford it. Um, I am hoping to go to New Zealand next year. Um, so I think that's probably the next place I will be travelling to. How many books do you read in an hour in a day? Um, I don't read... <laughs> I haven't read a book in a day in a while, actually. Um... Like, my reading speed is about a page a minute, but, so, I mean, I could finish a book. 
in a day if I put my mind to it, but I usually get distracted or I fall asleep. That's becoming increasingly common. I will fall asleep while reading books. It just makes me so tired. Oh, it's like almost impossible for me to um, read before bed because I'm already sleepy and then reading makes me more sleepy. What about a visit to Canada? That's also high on my list. I really want to go um, to Canada. I went really briefly back in 2013. I met up with Ariel and um, I would love to go back and actually, because I was on a cruise, I think it was. Well, no, it wasn't a cruise. It was just a tour, but we only stayed, we didn't even stay overnight in Canada. Why don't you make more tag videos? Because I don't know why. I did, I've done like three this month already um with Vita but typically I just don't think about making tag videos unless there's one that really stands out to me but I don't think about it have you read Wolf by Wolf no I have not it is here somewhere um I'm not even gonna try and find it but I really really want to read Wolf by Wolf I think I'm gonna love it because it's like a World War II book but by the sounds of it even better um For those of you that have read the Wolf by Wolf duology, is it a duology? Blood by Blood? Uh, the second one? Which one do you like better? Ah! <clears throat> do you still love the book thing? Absolutely! Oh, I haven't reread it in a while, so I'll have to do that, but I love the book thing. What kind of camera and recording equipment do you use? I have a Canon EOS. 60D I think it is and then for vlog type ones I've got a Canon PowerShot G7X is that what it's called? I think so. Um, so that is what I used to film. For lighting equipment I have a lamp <laughs> and that serves me quite well actually. Um, oh gosh I'm running out of room. I do have actual like other box lights but there's no room to do it here because I usually have my camera sitting up there and there's nowhere to put a light behind it so I just use a lamp. Um, what is on my Dewey's readathon list? Okay I have to read a book for uni so I'll probably read that one and I think it's To the Lighthouse by Virginia Woolf? Is it Virginia Woolf? I always get Virginia Woolf and no, Naomi Woolf mixed up in my head. Um, so I'm going to be reading that and I've also got a couple of graphic novels that I want to read. I just picked up the next volumes of Full Metal Alchemist. I also have Saga. I also have Hansel and Gretel by Neil Gaiman. Um, I've got Fairy Tale here as well that I might pick up. I just want, I'm going to be doing some short books. So ugh, that's my focus. What about editing software? Uh, Final Cut Pro. Okay guys, I've got all the books off the shelf, I'm just going to quickly dust it. Ugh! You should see this. This is horrendous. Um, oh, I went the wrong direction. So I'm just going to quickly dust this and then I'm going to start putting my books into piles based on, yes that is a toilet roll, based on the colour and then I'll start popping them on the shelf. Have you read The Rose and the Jagger yet? No, I'm so disappointed in myself. I don't know why I haven't read it yet because after I finished, I immediately wanted to read the next book. I just haven't done it yet. There's been so many books that I've needed to read. Oh, that's... Maybe I'll get a duster. Ugh, there's no way I'm getting out of this room right now. Um, let me just start a question while I'm doing this. Have you met any authors or got an autograph? Um, yeah, I'm actually really happy because in Sydney there's been more and more author events happening. So I've met quite a few Australian authors. Um, I've met <coughs> just the international authors that have come over. I think the biggest one that I've met is probably Sarah J Mass. She came over a couple of years ago. <coughs> I've had quite a book, quite a few books of mine signed actually. Um, so I'm really happy that 
like book signings and launches are becoming more and more popular here in Australia anyway. It makes me happy. I'm from Sydney too. How do you find out about author events? I mainly find out about them from my friends who also go to a lot of these events and I'm assuming it's just keeping an eye on the bookstores that frequently host events and seeing when they announce them. So the main ones in Sydney that I can think of uh, would be Dimmicks in the City. They've got a page on their website where they have all of their upcoming author events. Um, Kinokania, they do quite a few as well and I think they might have a page on the website as well. Then there's Galaxy Books, uh, which is quite close by as well. Um, they do some occasionally as well. So just keeping an eye out on their social media and their websites. Uh, that's probably the best way to do it. I honestly find out about it from my friends because they're much more in the know about these things than I am. I'm quite lazy with keeping up with what's happening. <laughs> Are you planning to make an event if there is an event? I'm not sure. Do you mean like a... Do you mind specifying what you mean by that? Do you mean like a, a meetup type thing if there's any other events or that kind of thing? Um... Bookshelf tour. Um, I might do a bookshelf, uh, like a TBR bookshelf tour after I've done this, but half of my books are still packed up in boxes downstairs, so it won't be a complete bookshelf tour. And I don't know when I'll be able to do that, sadly. Okay, this is going to get tricky. I'm just going to start out by pulling out all the bo books that I've read and then putting them on my shelf so I can make myself some room. Oh, sorry, I just choked on banana bread because you read the question. <laughs> Please don't die. Um, yes, meet and greet. Yeah, I haven't done a meet and greet in a really long time. Uh, and I've been wanting to, but I, it's just a bit tricky, like, trying to find the time that'll work for people, because usually it's best to do it in the holidays when people aren't at school or at uni. And then it, those holidays come around, and I find that I'm just trying to catch up on everything else, that I don't get the chance to do it, but... I mean, at the Sydney Writers' Festival this year, I might try and organise something, but um, the, uh, there's a lot of young adult events happening around the same time, all in Parramatta, so it'll probably just be pretty easy to meet up with people, because I think it'll be a smaller venue. I'm not entirely sure. I've never been there before. Are you still a Hufflepuff? Yes, I am still a Hufflepuff. Absolutely. Proud Hufflepuff indeed. Um... Do I like the Percy Jackson books? Yes, I do. I kind of wish that I had read them when I was younger though. I think I would have enjoyed them a little bit more then. But I do like them. I just haven't finished reading the series. I've read the, oh gosh, three, I read the first three books I think it is. Um, you should do a meet and greet when you come to New Zealand. If I can, I will. Um, you should also try and come to the Auckland Writers Festival. That's really soon, isn't it? I don't think I'll have the chance to do it because I've got uni starting back next week. But when I do go to New Zealand, I think I'll be doing a tour, like one of those Kentucky tours or Top Deck tours. So I think it might actually be a bit tricky organising a meet and greet when that happens, just because, um, like, I won't be in one place for very long, like one or two nights, and then outside of those we'll be doing activities. Um, so it might be a little bit tricky, but I will certainly keep it in mind, because I'd love to meet some New Zealanders. Oh, show. Sure. How's your new job going? It is going really well. I'm really enjoying it. It's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, Sorry, I just had something. Ugh, my phone just vibrated. Um, speaking of Percy Jackson, here's book four. Thoughts on the Death Note movie. I'm interested to see how they do it. I mean, I really liked the anime and... Um, I don't think it'll really compare. <laughs> I have to rewatch the trailer. I can't really remember much about it, to be quite honest. But, sorry, you're going to start getting a bit of a blocked view in a second. I'm just trying to make things easier for myself. Um, are you going to reorganise the other bookshelf? I've only got this bookshelf and the one in here. I don't actually have any other bookshelves at the moment. Um, all of my other books are in boxes. So this is all I've got at the moment. I don't live in Australia, so what's a uni? A uni is university. 
We call it uni rather than college. Would you like coming to Mexico? I'd love to go back to Mexico. I went on a cruise a couple of years ago and we stopped over in a couple of places in Mexico. I really, really enjoyed it. So I would absolutely go back one day. There's already a live action version of Death Note with Japanese actors. And the movie seems close to me. Oh, yeah, I think I'd prefer watching that one since they do have Japanese actors rather than, like, because they whitewashed the new one, haven't they? Um, is it any good, though? I'm assuming it is. Why are they making another one? If I can find the one that's already out, I'll definitely watch that, though. <clears throat> Does the white shelf get dirty easily? Um, no, my shelf's actually pretty good, I think. It's just getting dusty. That's the main problem. Um, will you do another bookmark collection? Oh, yes. I've, like, doubled the amount of bookmarks that I have, so I'll definitely do a video talking about the new ones that I've gotten since last doing the video, which is probably, like, a year or two ago. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, maybe a year and a half. Years ago, maybe. Um, it's 1.50 p.m. here. Do you read while in school? I'm in law school and can't find any time to read anything. Oh gosh, I struggle. I really do struggle. It's really hard finding the time to read uh, with university, especially doing um, an English degree where you already have a lot of readings. <laughs> so, I mean, I, do, I have managed to find a fair bit of time for reading, but not as much as I would like. That's why uh, my reading has been so funny this past couple of years. Um, it sucks. It really sucks. Um, my bookshelf's from Ikea. Are these just your TBR books? Yes, they are. <laughs> yes, they are. It's a bit ridiculous. Oh, I just watched the live-action Death Note with Japanese actors, and it was pretty faithful to the series, but they had to shorten it for adaptation reasons. Oh, that's good to know that it was faithful. Oh, I can imagine, though, because originally, like, yeah, the, with the TV show, um, sorry, the anime that they did, that was super faithful, but obviously they had a lot more time uh, that they could do everything. I didn't even think about the fact that they'd have to cut out quite a lot. Um, but yeah, I definitely want to watch that. I think that would be really good. Where do you keep all your bookmarks since you have so many? I keep them in mugs because I have a lot of mugs that I don't have a huge amount of use for because I have so many mugs. So <laughs> I put my bookmarks in mugs like that. Um, do you ever play video games? Yes, but I haven't touched one in a while because I know that if I do, I won't do any of my uni work. So I've been good and haven't touched anything, but my recent favourite games that I've been playing, I've recently finished the main storyline from Witcher 3, loved it, and what else, I started playing Skyrim, and I started playing, oh gosh, what's the other one? Oh, Dragon Age Inquisition, that's the one, um, so really enjoying those as well. But I haven't finished them because, well, Alex has his PS4 and I've been playing on his PS4 and it's not here, so I don't have anything to play on at the moment. Plus, like I mentioned, with all of my work, I knew I'd get nothing done if I started playing anything. Are you doing a good reads challenge? If so, how many books have you read so far this year? I set myself a goal. Oh, how many did I do? I'm pre Recently, I put down my goal because I wasn't, I, like, I knew I wouldn't do whatever I'd originally set. I haven't actually updated my Goodreads in a little while, so I'm not sure how many books I've read. Maybe around 10? No, there'd be more than that. No, probably about 12. I think that's how much I've read this year so far. <laughs> um, sorry. My brother just messaged me saying, hope I'm not interrupting a live stream or anything. Uh, I would yell at him, but that would be a bit rude to you guys. Um, are you going to do a Q&A video? Yes, I will be doing a Q&A video answering your questions regarding 
my new job at some point. I will also be doing just a general Q&A video at some point. Um, I have filmed <laughs> asking you guys to ask me questions, but I haven't put it up yet because I know I won't have the chance to do it for a little while. So I'm going to wait before I do that. I just got a call. That's a little awkward. Um, what's your favorite TV show? Mm. Okay, my... It's hard picking favorites. I'm not really good if you ask me what my favorite is. I'm not going to give you a good answer. Um, but recently I've been watching a lot of Archer. And guys, guys, the last episode of Archer. Jesus Christ, I need a new season now. Um, um, what else have I been watching recently? <gasps> No, one of my books is ripped. Oh, that's depressing. Um, sorry, I forgot the question I was answering. Favorite TV show? Okay, so there's Archer. What else have I been watching? Sherlock. I've started rewatching Sherlock recently. That is definitely a favorite. Um, Brooklyn Nine Nine. Yes, I love Brooklyn Nine Nine. Rick and Morty's also great. Um, hmm. I can't for the life of me think of anything else. I, I re-watch a lot of uh, TV, like, TV shows that I've already watched rather than starting a lot of new ones. Do you watch Bob's Burgers? I haven't gotten into Bob's Burgers. Um, yeah, it just hasn't happened. I mean, the only times that I've watched it have been when other people have put on a random episode, and I think I'd probably get into it more if I started from the beginning, which is similar to what happened with me with Archer. Um, like, some people showed me random episodes of Archer and I didn't care for it, and then I started from the beginning, and now I'm in love. Oh gosh. Okay, I've got the luck of piles of books here. How do you preserve your books? Uh, I'm quite particular about them and I'm very picky with people who borrow them. I have some friends that I know will destroy them so I don't lend them paperback books. <laughs> I only give them hardcover books. Um, and then I try not to break the spines if possible. Like I'm not going to make it super uncomfortable for myself to read a book but if I'm able to read it without breaking the spine then I will do it. Have I read The Bone Season? No, I have not but I plan on doing it soon. I do own all of the books out yet. Mainly because I wanted to get the limited edition, collector's edition of Song Rising in the hardcover because it is matching the other books and it also came signed by Samantha Shannon which is a bonus. So I own them all but I have not read them. How do I organize my books? Well, what I'm going to be doing is organizing them by color. So I'm going to start at red and go through the rainbow. Then I'm going to, uh, what am I going to do from there? I think I might go, hmm, usually I do white to black, but I think since I'll be finishing with purples, if I finish on a dark purple, then I'll do black to white. If I finish on a light purple, I'll do white to black at the end. Hmm. What about the Diabolic? No, I haven't read the Diabolic either, sadly. A lot of the books that you guys are asking me about I probably haven't read, and I probably got them here in this pile of books, or rather piles of books. Attack on Titan, I haven't watched it. I've heard really good things about it, so at some point I'll probably watch it. Um, UK versus US cover, it totally depends. A lot of the time I prefer the US covers, I think. Um, which is kind of a shame because in Australia with like UK publishers usually have the rights to Australia so we get their covers so it sucks when I prefer the US covers and uh, we have a lot of the UK ones here available in Australia um, but obviously yeah it really does depend because sometimes I prefer the UK it just really depends on the book do you still draw eyes? <laughs> I haven't drawn anything in a really long time. I've only... Hmm, 
I've drawn two eyes and I've also done like half a tiger face and I started with the eye. Have I read Empire of Storms? No, I haven't. Not yet. It is right here in my pile, as you can see. Oh, it's funnily enough right there. Um, have you read Strange the Dreamer yet? No. No, I haven't. Do you have more read or unread books on my shelves? I honestly have no idea. Um, yeah, I'm not even going to try and count, at least not anytime soon. I think it's pretty much even, though. Um, recently I have been re-buying or at least receiving books more than I've been reading them. Um, but I've been in contact with some of the publishers who've been sending me unsolicited books and requested that they um, don't for a little while just because I'm struggling to keep up with everything. So, yeah, I think it's probably even. My most reread book is probably The Host by Stephanie Meyer. I really, really enjoyed that book. And now thinking about it again, I think I might reread it at some point soon. Um, do you have any colouring books? Yes, but I have not yet completed a single colouring in page, unfortunately. Sorry if you can hear that, my jaw cracks a little bit, it's quite disgusting, but I can't really do much about it. Okay, so I have three piles of red slash orange slash pink books. Oh, I'm scared. This is going to involve a lot of rearranging because I can't actually fit everything on my shelf in one layer. I'm going to have to double up at some points, I think. But I'm just going to move everything that's red on here first, and then I'll get around to rearranging everything later. Because I need some room. <clears throat> Interested to see how much room these, each colour takes up, though. I know that I don't have many purple books, and I would like more purple, because purple's my favourite colour. I'm glad you found your phone! It's awful when you lose your phone. I hate it. It's a terrible feeling. That's pink. Um, have I read the Shannara Chronicles? No. No, I wasn't sure if I did own those books, but I'm pretty sure I don't. Um, that is a series that I am quite interested in picking up at some point, though. So, maybe one day. Um... The one thing I have trouble with when colour coordinating shelves is figuring out where brown goes. Because I hate starting off, because it's kind of, oftentimes it works best towards like the red and orange colours, um, depending on the colour brown it is, but I don't want to start off my rainbow with brown, I want to start it off with a really nice red. And then that leaves me with no idea where to put them. Okay. Oh, I don't think pink's going to work there. No, I'll put pink in the beginning. That is more sensible. I'm just going to move you up a little bit more so you get to see a little more than my butt. See, what colour? Where do I put that colour? Okay. Oranges. Ugh. These are just brownie reds. Actually, they can probably work. You know what? I think I might go red to brown to orange. That may work. Hmm. Really depends on what color what books I've got. That. We will get through this. Sorry, I keep forgetting to answer your questions. Black, brown, red. Well, the, the only thing is I'll likely have black. I'm not going to have blacks and reds together. Like, I'll have red to purple. Then depending on how purple finishes, then I'll have whites and blacks. So, I, like, it probably won't work. That way, do rainbow and then do neutral colours. Yeah, that's what I'm doing, but brown doesn't really fit in with the neutral colours as much. I usually try and go white to black, so with grey in the middle rather than any browns. 
Um, so, we shall see. My Ilpamoni house is Pakawaji. Does uneven books next to each other annoy you? No, I actually don't really mind it. If I don't do colour coordinated, I do by height. But I like the way the books look colour coordinated, so I don't mind when they look kind of jagged. I actually quite like it. Um, <clears throat> there. See, that's a brownie pink. Why? Um. Oh, that's a bright pink. They make it tricky, guys. It's like they don't want me to be able to color coordinate. It's rude. Oh, God. Okay, I'm going to fight it with that later. I'm just going to get everything on here. Okay. I think that's about all of the red ones. I'm gonna, yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> One and a half shelves already done. This is gonna get interesting. That's a lot of red books. I know it is. I think red's probably the colour that I have the most amount of books in though. Probably blue as well actually. So I'm going to have to double up on my shelves a little bit. I hate doing that. But I don't have anywhere else to put my books, sadly. Okay, moving on to oranges. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to include yellows as well. <clears throat> Do I watch American Horror Story? Ooh. I have watched like a couple of episodes of American Horror Story. I can't remember which season it was. Was it the Coven one? I think it was Coven. And then I think I watched the first episode of the Circus one. And that was about it. That's all I've watched. I do want to watch some more of it at some point, but it just haven't gotten around to it. Not yet anyway. Double stack, hide the ones you don't know where in the rainbow to put. <gasps> You're a genius! Oh my gosh. Why didn't I think of that? You're a genius. Thank you. I will be definitely doing that. I can hide all of the brown ones I don't want to look at anymore. Very clever. Okay. Um, Coven is the best season. Yeah. I really did like what I watched. I just never got around to continuing more. Six in the morning, oh my goodness. Thanks for joining, but my god, have you not been able to sleep so far yet? <laughs> Does mass paper, max market paperbacks bother me? Yes they do, because it's so tricky reading them without breaking the spine. And they're just tiny, tiny font. It's um, oh my gosh, it is so dusty here. Okay. <clears throat> Do you mix your TBR with red books? No, I don't. I keep them completely separate. So all of the books that you're going to be seeing on my shelf here are books that I have not read. All of the books that I have read are in boxes because I don't have any more room since moving back home. Which is a bit sad. Okay, maybe I should do this in a little more of an efficient way. Um... Do you like the Mortal Instrument series? Uh, I mean, it was okay. I kind of went into it with super high expectations, just going on uh, based on the amount of hype that there's been for the series. So, I mean, I was a little bit let down. I enjoyed it, but I just, I'm not... Sorry, one of my lights just was flickering. Um, I liked it, but I didn't love it. It's not my favorite, which is probably a bit of an unpopular opinion. I've only read the first three books of the Model Instrument series and I'm not going to be continuing. Um, I think the only reason why I read past the first book is because I bought the box set of the first three, so I felt obliged to continue. <laughs> oh, are you excited to meet our Lord and Saviour, Resand the High Lord of, uh, High 
Lord of the Night Court. I am so excited. I am anti I've been anticipating it, and I want it. Uh, I want to meet him sooner. I mean, with where I am so far, we've met him twice now, but only briefly. Like, there's nothing happening with him. So. Ooh. What binding of book do I prefer? I prefer hardcovers. I just like the way they look. Um, plus, in Australia, I mean, it's hard to come by hardcovers, but the way in which Australians, I don't know if it's the same anywhere else, but the way in which we publish books, let me see if I can find an example. Let me have a quick is. I don't think I do probably because I avoid doing this at all costs but <clears throat> oh yeah this is probably a good example okay so when a f sorry I'm just trying to find a, an appropriate one okay so when we first publish books in Australia they come in this size this is like our equivalent of a hardcover so they first come out in these really big sizes and then a year after, when they start to reprint the books, they come out in this size, shorter. So this is, it's frustrating. Because I'm pretty sure in the States it often comes out in the hardcover first, then the paperback. Well, we get this size, and then we have this size. And it's really frustrating because if you start buying, if you buy the first book, and then you wait a couple of years after the second book has come out, you won't see this size. So then you have uneven books on your shelf, and it's very frustrating. Very frustrating indeed. So that's why I hate buying paperbacks in Australia, because they make it rather tricky to get the same size. <clears throat> You're probably not going to love him in the first book. Yeah, I don't love him. <laughs> what we've seen of him so far, he's not very lovable. That is quite right. But, like, everybody speaks so highly of him, so obviously um, there's an appeal there, so I'm excited to get to know more about him. Um, I would like to thank you for introducing me to The Night Circus a couple of years back. It's my favourite book and I can't imagine my life without it. Oh, you're so welcome! It is such an amazing book. That is one that I've also been really wanting to reread at some point. It is an absolutely stunning book and I haven't read it in a while. I'm glad you enjoyed it though. Um, it's hard not to love that. See, what do I do with covers like this? Blue, green, and red. This is going to go behind other books. Genius person who gave me that idea. See, they're making it real tricky for me. Okay. Do you purchase the physical book if you listen to the audio version? Well, a lot of the time, especially when I'm borrowing audiobooks from my library, I will listen to books that I already own a copy of because I actually want to kind of cut through my TBR pile. If I do listen to a book that I really enjoyed um, and I don't own the physical copy, then I will likely go and buy it. I just ordered myself a copy of The First 15 Lives of Harry August because I loved it and I really want to own a physical copy of it because I think at some point I probably will reread the physical book of it. Um, so it depends on how much I enjoy it. So did I move back to my parents place? Yes I did. This hopefully isn't a permanent situation but we shall see because university takes up a lot of time and therefore you cannot work to pay bills. Are you going to buy all the illustrated editions of Harry Potter? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, do you buy books from Australian bookshops online? Occasionally, there's the Booktopia bookshop, which is pretty good. They ship really quickly, so I'll occasionally buy from them. If, aside from them though, if I buy from an Australian store, it's usually from their um, physical store. I'll go into the shop and buy it. Oh, I'm getting old, guys. My body hurts. Um, have, did you ever read Transcendence by Shay Savage? Yes, I did read it. I really enjoyed it. Um, have you read it? Curious to know what you think of it. That can be counted as yellow. It's a cream. We'll go with it. That will be black. How old am I? I am 
22. I had to think about that for a second. Ooh. Favorite anime? Well, the only anime I've watched is Death Note. Does Avatar count as anime or just like a regular animated TV show? I'm not super familiar with anime, so that's probably a really dumb question to a lot of you, and I apologize if that was really dumb. <laughs> but if that does count, then I love uh, Avatar. Do I like graphic novels? Yes, I am currently in the middle of reading Full Metal Alchemist and absolutely adoring it. I can tell that I took my books straight off the shelf in chunks because I have like some of them already color coordinated, but they got mixed up in the boxes along the way. If only <sighs> it was a little easier for myself. Okay, that's a green book. That's the purple. I think Avatar is a Western cartoon. Yeah, I think so. Anime is Japanese animation. Okay, yeah, it's not Japanese. Okay, so it doesn't count as anime. So therefore, Death Note is my only but favourite because I really, really did love it. Okay, this. Where do you go? See, this is like a peachy pink. Ugh. Why? Um. Why is this really hard colour coordinating? It's not an easy thing to do. Because there's so many books that have multiple colours, or just really weird colours that don't fit into the normal rainbow. Um, <clears throat> have I watched RuPaul's Drag Race? No, I have not. Um, have I watched Attack on Titan? No, the only anime that I've ever watched is Death Note. Um, but that is one that I've heard people talking about and really enjoying, so at some point I will pick that one up. <clears throat> um... Death Note ruined my life in the best way. It's amazing. It is amazing. Um, how is your how has your time topple readathon gone? Pretty good. Um, I mean, I didn't read as much as I had hoped I would, and that's partly because towards the beginning of the readathon, I had a couple of assignments, and the stress levels were incredibly high. Um, uh, so I didn't actually start reading until a little closer to the time. I'm sorry, I didn't start reading until about a week through. And also, the, I, I was reading, but I was reading a book that didn't actually count towards the Tone Top of Readathon, just because uh, it was under 500 pages, and that is Akita. But I wanted to I wanted to read it so that I could also read Akamath, because that counted towards the Readathon, since it's over 500 pages. But I didn't end up finishing Akita. So, that was a little pointless, but oh well. Um, this is not good for my luck. Let me tell you. Did you know Bob's Burgers and Archer has the same voice actor? Yes, I did. Oh. Okay. I do have a lot of blue books. Okay, we've got a massive stack there. A tiny stack of purple. It's so depressing. Why can't there be more? <clears throat> will this be posted once it's over? Yes, it will. Uh, so if you can't stay and watch the entire thing, which <laughs> I don't blame you because this is probably going to go for a little while, then it will be available on the channel afterwards, so you don't need to worry um, about missing it. You can always come back and watch more if you're interested. Um, when do I finish uni? At the end of this year I will be done. And I cannot wait. Should probably go to sleep so I can go to work at the library in the morning. Have fun with the reorganization. Why, thank you. And I would love to work at the library. I think that would be awesome. Have a good sleep, though. And thanks for stopping by. Oh. Okay. Have I seen the Vampire Diaries? Um, I'm fairly sure that I watched like half a season of the Vampire Diaries. I had I was recording it on Foxtel, I believe. 
And then I think my dad stopped recording it for some reason. He, he deleted it, probably because there wasn't any more room on it to watch his cricket. So I didn't end up continuing. <laughs> Sadly. I'm really running out of room here. Is it Friday day? Yes it is. Thoughts on Donald Trump? Um, I... no comment. They're not good. Not good thoughts. Ten sentences now my top five favorite standalones. Yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. I was surprised how much I liked it. I went into it not really having any expectations about it. So I guess I shouldn't say surprised because I didn't have any expectations. But yeah, it was a really, really good book. I enjoyed it. Um, have you read Melina Marchetta? Yes. What have I read? I think the only book that I've read by her is... I had it in a, oh, on the Jellico Road. That's the only one I've read, I'm pretty sure. And I really, really liked that one. I haven't read anything else by her. I don't know if I own anything. I'm pretty sure I got rid of my copy of Looking for Ella Brandy for some reason. Don't ask me why. I cannot remember. <sighs> Is it easy for me to read multiple books at once? Yes, I've kind of fallen into the habit of it. Um... I mean, it's not really ideal. I don't like reading multiple books at once. I would like to just focus on one, but um, thanks to university, I don't get to read the way that I want to. Um, <clears throat> have I read Legend by Marie Lu? Yes, but I haven't read any more of the series. Not yet, anyway. Oh, we almost had a casualty, but it's fine. I saved the day. How do you fix a reading slump? That is a very good question. Um, I did actually, I did a video with some tips a little while ago and I think the best way to start fixing it is to stop reading. Uh, don't force yourself to read if you are in a reading slump um, because a lot of times, not all the time, but sometimes um, it's because of what you've been reading that can cause a slump. Otherwise you might have just kind of burnt yourself out with your reading. So take a bit of a break from it. It's gotta go in the black. Um, take a bit of a break from reading. And I find that, especially if you do watch a, a lot of booktube videos or you do read a lot of blogs and things like that, if you are really actively keeping up to date with a lot of um, a lot of blogs and booktubers and stuff like that, hearing people talking about books will help you get excited again. And then hopefully, when you get back into reading, you'll be really excited about it. And hopefully not too slumpy. But I mean, that's not the, like, that's not a complete solution. Just because you're excited to read doesn't mean that you're out of a slump. Um, sometimes you just have to let it do its thing. But um, some other ways to help it might be to reread a book that you know that you love. So reread your favorite book of all time. Or maybe read in different formats. So if you've never listened to an audiobook before, I find that listening to audiobooks is super handy when I'm in a reading slump because I'm able to read books while I'm commuting places. Um, so when I'm driving to uni, I can listen to my audiobook. And I, I find that's really helpful for getting through books. Also because it takes some of the work out of reading for you. Someone is reading... And unless you stop it, they're just going to continue talking at you um, until the audiobook ends or until you need to stop it. So maybe switching it up a little bit like that. Try something new, a, a genre that you're not super familiar with um, might help if rereading something that you love didn't really help much at all. Maybe you need to spice things up. Um, yeah, it, it really depends on what kind of slump it is, but I think the first thing to do is to stop reading for a little while. <clears throat> that, I think, is probably the best thing until you're excited to read again. What is my favourite childhood book? Okay, aside from the obvious Harry Potter, the Song of the Lioness Quartet by Tamora Pierce was one of my favourite series. I also really liked the series of Unfortunate Events. 
I think that's probably about it. There's nothing really else coming to mind, so if nothing is really jumping out at me, it probably wasn't memorable enough to warrant being an absolute favourite. Is fantasy my favourite genre? Yes, it is my favourite genre. Absolutely. Hilariously, if you guys um, know, I'm helping to host, I'm one of the new hosts for the Biennial Bibliothon, and no, I can't say that. Never mind. Ignore me. I was about to talk about one of the challenges, but I'm just going to pretend that I said nothing because we haven't announced it yet. <laughs> oh gosh. We have book. Okay, one tower has fallen. What type of non-fiction do I read? I don't actually read a lot of non-fiction. Um, I do own a couple of non-fiction books. This, for example, is non-fiction, and I think I'd be really interested in this. It's Elephants on Acid and Other Bizarre Experiments. So, someone did an experiment where they gave acid to an elephant, which is awful. Um, I don't actually think they lived much longer after that. But there's other, other experiments in here as well, aside from that one. Um, but I don't know, I just think it'd be a really fascinating thing to read just hearing about some of the really bizarre scientific experiments that people have done just because they were curious, <laughs> basically. <laughs> um, I'm also curious. What is the book with blue pages? Um, oh, this one here. Sorry, I was like, what are you talking about? This Beauty, Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. I will get to it soon, I hope. I've heard fabulous things about it. Isn't that The Rest of Us Just Live Here? I've actually read The Rest of Us Just Live Here, so it won't be in with these books that I haven't read. Um, but that book also does have blue pages. It's just not as big. It's probably half the size of that. Mm, that pile's going to go soon. Do you read any contemporary books? Occasionally. Um, I don't read a lot of contemporary. I don't find that I'm really in the mood a lot of the time. I think I have to be in the right kind of mood. But when I do read contemporary books, I'm always, a lot of the time, pleasantly surprised by how much I enjoyed them, just because I go into it thinking, oh, it's contemporary. I mean, I'll like it, but I don't know. I just don't think I'd enjoy it as much as fantasy, and then I do end up enjoying it and find myself surprised. Don't ask why. Um... <coughs> The introduction of smartphones is definitely short and attention spans and made it harder to focus on books. Oh yes. That's probably got a lot to do with um, me struggling to pay attention to books a lot of the time. Oh, this poor book is so dusty. Um, I recommend George by Alex Gino. I loved George. I read that book last year, really enjoyed it. I would also highly recommend it. It was one I think I did include yeah, I did include it in one of my in my favourite standalones video that I recently did. It was amazing. Okay, so I've got a pile of books here. Ooh. That is right there. Oh, I still have one more stack of books, I thought I was done. But no. Don't mind me checking all my books around. Okay. There's another purple one. Oh, my poor meager stack of purple books. Actually, I think I've got less orange books. Oh no, I've got some up there. I think it's purple still. Oh well. Mm. The longest book I've read. I'm not entirely sure. I can't think off the top of my head how many pages the books that I've read are, but some of the books that I've, excuse me, some of the books that I've read that have been super long are The Wise Man's Fear by Patrick Rothfuss and Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. I'm not sure if I've read anything longer than those. At least not yet. Favourite book I had to read for school. I did mention this earlier. Um, it was... The Yellow Wallpaper by Charlotte Perkins Gilman. That's a short story, so it's not a book, but I really enjoyed it. I've also had to study some Sherlock Holmes stories, which I really enjoyed. That was a lot of fun. Oh, have I lived in that house my entire life? No, I did. Oh, so I just need to stretch. That was painful. Um, 
I lived out of home for about a year and a half. I moved back here a couple of months ago, a few months ago. Oh. I did yoga yesterday for the first time in a few years and my body can feel it. It sure can feel it. Have you gotten your boyfriend to read any of your favourite books since you've been together? Yes. What have I gotten him to read? Um, he's got his books here for some reason. Where, where are they? I got him to read Death Note and I got him to read The Hunger Games and he really enjoyed both of those. Uh, I think that's about it. He's not a huge reader. He also read, ooh, what was it? When we go on holidays together, I usually get some ebooks onto my Kindle that he can read because he flies through them when we're on holiday. He'll read more than I will when we're on holiday, surprisingly. Um, what was the other series that I was thinking of? James Dash, no, that series, the Maze Runner. Maze Runner. He doesn't read a lot, but if he goes traveling, then he'll read a little bit. Do you like the yoga? Would you do it again? Oh yes, I'm starting to do it again more frequently. The only thing is it's not the same teacher. I'm doing it somewhere differently this time because I'm pretty sure that my the teacher that I was um, going to for a few years, she doesn't teach at the same place anymore. I need to go find her because she was my absolute favorite and I loved her. Um, so it's a bit different. Like, if, like each yoga teacher has a slightly different style. So it's a bit weird jumping into something that I'm not quite as familiar with. But I definitely do love it and will be continuing. Absolutely. Mm -mm. Have you read books by Rainbow Rowell? Yes, I have read Fangirl and Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. I enjoyed them. I also own Carry On. I will get to this one day. Oh! Okay, I have organized these into piles. That didn't take as long as I expected. But now the fun part, fun part begins. And uh, here we go. Continuing with these. So this is kind of an odd color. So that's the color of the book, but the spine is very faded. So where can I put this? That's kind of orange. It looks... It looks more orange on the spine, so I'm just going to stick that there. Okay. I've got my brown books. So these are going to go behind them. You know what? I think I'm going to do all of those because that will make my life a lot easier. So those are books that I'm hiding behind things. These ones also don't quite fit. But I don't think I'll be able to... Yeah. I don't know how much of my bookshelf I'm going to have to put behind things. So I might just put these aside for now. They'll probably have to go on the bottom of the shelf because I don't want to double stack books towards the top and make my shelf top heavy and have it fall. That would be awful. I think I might put the pink ones behind it as well because they're a bit funky. Um, oh, I might be able to manage a bit. Okay, that one's perfect. Um, let's see. You know what? I think this will work. Oh! Oh! Where did I put them? Right here. What was the faded book? It was. Shana by Kathleen E. Woodowis. Woodowis? Woodwiss. I think this is a romance novel. It's one of my friend's favorite books and she's reread it so many times. So I was like, well, why not pick it up? And I got this for, how much did I get it for? $2 when I was at a used bookstore in the States. So that was a bargain. Um, have I read any thriller horror books? I've read... I haven't read a huge amount, but I've read a couple of psychological thrillers, which I really enjoy. So, what counts is that? Based on a true story by Delphine Bevigan. I always feel like I get that last name wrong. Um, 
What else is there? My Sister Rosie, you could probably classify as a psychological rom thriller. Not psychological romance, no. Um, I read Girl on the Train. It was a bit mystery, murder mystery type thing ish. Uh, but I haven't read many horror books. Oh, can you. What? Ooh. Oh my god, what's it called? House of Leaves. That was quite terrifying. That gave me nightmares. I peep, my dog just pooped in front of my bedroom door. I feel like it's a threat. That is awful. <gasps> that is so awful. My friend uh, sent me a couple of Snapchats today. She was at the vet with her dog and her dog pooped in the reception area. And then 10 minutes later, she sent me another message being like, he pooed again, twice. Pooed twice at the vets, just on the floor. Um, who's the first booktuber I saw on YouTube? <clears throat> That would be, it was a collab channel, sorry, I'm just going to move this up again. That was a collab channel called the YA Fiction Freaks. Um, I'm not sure, I think I still follow them, but they don't make videos anymore. Um, but from that channel, one of the people that was in the channel, sorry, um, Jessica, she started up a channel with her sister, Stacy, called Chapter Chicks, and I'm pretty sure I still follow them. They haven't posted a video in a while, I think. They haven't popped up on my feed anyway, um, but occasionally Jessica will post some videos. Um, so I'm pretty sure I still follow them, but they're just not quite as active as they used to be. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Oh. This makes me so happy. Okay, that did not work. This is a funky colour. That will fit nicely behind other books. Okay. Night film. I haven't read night film, but I've heard... Who is it? Sarah without an H and Raylene have been raving about that book, haven't they? It is one that I would definitely like to read at some point. I just realised I did not see one of the books I need to read for uni. That is problematic. Um, oh no. Uh oh. Okay. Hopefully I do come across it and I, I just have forgotten what the spine looks like. But I'm pretty sure it was red. Um, anywho. Um, Favourite Australian author? Ooh, okay. Hmm. At the moment, I'm going to say Jay Kristoff just because I absolutely love The Illuminae Files and I also really loved Nevernight by him. Um, I'm also a huge fan of Amy Coffin, who also wrote Illuminae, and she also did the Starbound trilogy. And then there's Marcus Suzak, who wrote The Book Thief, which is one of my favourite books. And then there's also Justine Lovelestier, who wrote one of my favourite books. Love the Australian authors. <clears throat> these, so these are all of my books, TBR books. Yes. Oh, uh, well, there's some more in here. So this is super messy. These, as you can see, there's my camera. Ignore all of this. But these here are all of my ARCs, my proof copies. Um, so these are what publishers have sent me. And I'm not going to organise that because I can close it and not have to look at it anymore. There we go. Problem solved. Um, what's after yellow? Green. Okay. Um, do I ever unhaul books? Yes, I do. I will probably be doing an unhaul video sometime soon. Um, just because I do have quite a lot of books that I want to get rid of. Um, <clears throat> Oh gosh, there's a lot of things coming through. Do you recommend Tomorrow When the War Began to non-Australian people? Yes, I really enjoyed the Tomorrow When the War Began series. Um, I think the series might have gone on for a little bit longer than necessary. <clears throat> but I did really enjoy it. Are you talking about the books or the movie or the TV show? <laughs> because there's all three. Um... 
You have to leave and exit the house? Ew. Why would you do that to yourself? I'm only kidding. Kind of. I need to find another bookshelf. Oh, goodness. When I moved out, the bookshelf that's outside of my bedroom, that had was pretty much completely filled with my books. But since moving out, it's been completely filled with other books from around the house. So... My brother just very creepily walked down the driveway and stared at me. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yes. So, yeah. That bookshelf is now completely filled with other people's books, and I can't just remove all their books to put mine on there. So, <clears throat> I'm going to be trying to squish everything on here, which is going to be very tricky. Because I'm... Oh my gosh. I think I'm going to... I reckon the blue books will come down to this shelf. You know what? Oh gosh. Am I even going to have any room on here for all of my white and black ones? I hate double stacking books. Oh gosh. Okay. Oh, you found a signed copy of The Martian today? I am very jealous. That is awesome though. Was it at, like, was it from, uh, like a... Like your regular bookstore, or was it like secondhand or whatever? Um, that is awesome. Okay. We are moving into blues now. Favorite character in the Shades of Magic series? Oh, I can't even remember their names. I've only read the first book, and I will definitely have to reread it before I continue with the series. I can't remember the, I can't be like me remember their names. That is awful. I don't have the greatest memory when it comes to books. Like, not much is retained in my brain. Um, local bookstore. That is awesome. Kel. Oh yes, that's Kel. Okay. Oh, what's the girl's name? Was it Leela Lai? Lila? Mm. Oh god, this is gonna bug me. Yeah, okay. Is it pronounced Lila? I think it was Lila. I honestly can't remember enough about the story to pick a favourite character. It's been a long time. Will I ever write a book? I mean, I'll never say never, but I don't have any ideas or anything at the moment. There's nothing rolling around in my brain. I don't really have any desire to read at the moment. So if I do write anything, it's not going to be anytime soon. I mean, that excludes obviously the anthology that I'm a part of, but that's kind of different. Um. <clears throat> that is a purple thing. Yeah. Oh. Have you read or heard about the graphic, um, sorry, the Dragon Age graphic novels or books? No, I haven't. Oh my gosh. I have heard about the Witcher books and I'm intrigued. Um, sorry, I just I can't remember if the Witcher ones did the books or the game become first. I'm always really hesitant about picking up those sorts of things, like books, if they come after games or something like that. I don't know, I just, I'm a little bit wary of it, if they're going to be any good. Um, those are black. Ooh. Have you read any Sean Tan picture books? Yes. I've had to study them a couple of times at school, actually, but oh, I can't think of what they're called. The one that I'm thinking of right now is the larger picture book, and on the cover it's the man with the hat on it, and he's walking around the town, and there's all these weird creatures and stuff like that. I can't remember what it's called, but I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Maybe? Possibly? 
Does your family support your book addiction? Well, I mean, they don't support it in that they don't actually buy me books because they think I have too many, but I don't get scolded a lot for having so many books anymore. I think they've come to terms with how many that I own, but um, I don't get gifted books by them anymore. Okay, so we have successfully put the coloured books on, and now we have all of the rest. Okay, this will be interesting. So, I'm just going to think if I want to start with white or black. I think I'll go with white, just because when I rearrange things, I think I'll end on a light purple colour. Let me see if I've got one with a white sign that has the purple. Oh, I don't think I've got any. Oh no, Amy Rogers Epic B, so I have a little bit of purple. Just got orange, but I think that'll do. Oh, the only thing that sucks about re sorry, you can't really see me. Um, the only thing that does suck about reorganizing bookshelves is that it makes me really sad how many of these I haven't read. Jeez, too many. The Witcher books came before the games. Okay, I vaguely remember hearing that. And I think that's why I was really interested in reading them. Um, good to know that they're good. That makes me really happy because I fell in love with the game after playing Witcher 3. And I kind of want to go back and play the first two games. Um, obviously, I don't know. I feel like I won't enjoy the first two as much as the third. Because I really, really enjoyed it. Um, but I'm glad, I'm glad that um, you recommend the books though. That makes me very happy. Okay. I just bought that copy of Strange the Dreamer. I haven't even read it, so I can't recommend it. That's hilarious. Oh, it's so beautiful though. Like I'm actually like that cover is just absolutely stunning. If you could visit anywhere in the US, where would you visit? Hmm. I've been to quite a few places in the US so far. I think. I would really like to go to New Orleans or Texas. I think those are probably next on my list. Okay. <sighs> Worst book ever, in my opinion. Ooh. Hmm. Um. <sighs> I don't know. That's a tough one. I mean... Like, the books that I haven't enjoyed, one of them is a classic, so obviously there's some appeal there, and I don't think it's, like, a badly written book or anything, it just wasn't for me. And then, the only other book that's coming to mind. Oh, okay. My least favourite book of all time is probably Dream Hunter. I just I didn't like it. I didn't like it very much at all. I just gave up buying books for Lent and went on a huge shopping spree as soon as it was over. Yeah, I find that I do that as well. If I restrict my book buying as soon as I'm able to buy books, I go a little bit insane. And I buy everything. <laughs> Possibly more than I would have if I just regularly bought books, but I mean, it's hard to, it's hard to say. Um. Alright. I think I might have to take a bit of a break from moving around too much because my back isn't super happy. Um, what's the smallest book I've ever owned? Do you mean like, like actual physical size wise or page wise? I mean, if you're talking pages, it's probably a picture book. Um, hmm. I can't think of what else is really super short. It's probably one of the ones here. Or graphic novels. <laughs> My favourite genre is fantasy. Nikolai, I'm going to butcher that last name, unfortunately. I can't, I don't, I don't recognise the name, so I don't think, I, well, I haven't read any of his books, but I can't think of what um, any of Nikolai's books would be. Because I can't think of, I don't think I recognise the name. 
Uh, <laughs> Have I played Bioshock? No, I haven't played Bioshock. Favorite book with my least favorite cover. Ooh, okay, let's take a peek. Hmm. Okay. My favorite books don't have awful covers. Bit of shame. <laughs> okay. My favorite book with my least favorite cover, just going off of what I can see on my favorite shelves, is probably the UK edition of Vicious by V.E. Schwab. I prefer the US, the orange cover, rather than the white one. Um, I mean, it's not awful, it's just not my favourite. And then, favourite book, no, least favourite book with my favourite cover. Hmm. Shiver by Maggie Stiebata. Smallest in physical size. Ooh, okay. Um, well, I mean, look. Yeah. I've got this thing, which is pretty small, but it's not really a book, so it's kind of like inspirational quotes and illustrations and stuff like that. It'd probably be a mass market paperback book that I've got. I'm just trying to think. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've got any abnormally small books. One's pretty small, but it's not really. It doesn't look small. Um, a lot of the mass market paperback ones are kind of chunky in terms of page size, though, hilariously. What is that piece of furniture behind you? This is a desk. So on the top, there's shelves, um, and then this section here, this I'm not going to open it because it's going to be tricky to close it again. But this section here opens down and then you have a desk. It's very handy. I can hide all of my mess inside. It takes up a lot of room with this bit open, but when you close it, it's, it doesn't actually take up much space. It's quite good. <clears throat> Favourite fairy tale retelling book. I don't think I've read a huge amount of them, though I'm always super intrigued when I hear that book is a fairy tale retelling, but I really enjoy the Lunar Chronicle series by Marissa Meyer. That is probably one of my favourites. Trying to think of anything else. I feel like there's an obvious one that's just escaping my memory at the moment. If I think of it, I will let you know. How do you sleep when it's really hot in your room? Sorry, not a book question. I have aircon at my parents' place, so I will do that. Otherwise, I have a fan on. Um, I don't have a huge problem in this house with it because we do have air conditioning, but I think the ventilation is pretty decent as well, so it's not awful, but in the place I was living before, it was super uncomfortable. Um, but I mean, my boyfriend actually, like, physically can't sleep without the sound of a fan on. He, like, he has trouble sleeping with complete silence, so we'd always would have a fan on us, so it wasn't... Yeah, I mean, that. I wouldn't say that there were any times where I was, sorry, I'm not, the words aren't coming out of my mouth right now properly, but obviously there would be times when it was super uncomfortable to sleep. It was like, just the fan would be blowing hot air, and there's not much you can do at that stage, really, unfortunately. Um, do I ever donate books? Yes, if I unhaul books, I first let my friends know. They can claim any if they want any. And then after that, I will donate the rest uh, to uh, the library or charity shops. Do I have a degree in English? No, I don't, but I will in about a year. <laughs> no, not a year, half a year. Um, smallest book is The Giver. Pretty sure. I have The Giver as well. That one is a really small book, isn't it? This one's pretty small as well, but this isn't even my book. How many pages is that? It's 180 pages. That's not pretty. Oh, not huge either. Yeah, my copy of The Giver is quite small. It is a pretty small book. 175 pages. Actually, I think 
This one's even smaller. That's probably my thinnest book. Sorry. 160. Yeah, I've seen that one. What is it? The Little Red Writing Book. So that one's not a novel, but... Ow. It's probably the smallest. Okay. Okay, so... I still have... One, two, three, four... I still have six stack of stacks of books, and I have practically no more room left on my bookshelf. We're going great, guys. Just fabulous. Um, I'm not actually sure what I'm going to do from this point. I don't really know what to do. Um. <clears throat> okay. I wish I had more room because I, I don't want to double stack these, but I'm going to have to, aren't I? <sighs> I need the sound of the fan to sleep too. Yay. After living with him for quite a while, I also need <laughs> the sound of something when I go to sleep. Um, three fans pointing at you all night. My goodness. Is that if it's super hot, though? I get really cold, though. Um, so I'd always have the fan pointing on Alex the entire night, because otherwise I would get too cold. Have you read any Haruki Murakami books? Mm. Is Never Let Me Go by Haruki Murakami. I'm gonna wait till someone answers that. Sorry, that took me a long time. I own 1Q84, I haven't read 1Q84. I have a feeling I have read. Is Never Let Me Go by him? If so, that is the only... No, it's not. He's a bite. God damn. I can't think of the author. I don't think I have them. Oh, Kazuo Ishiguro. That was my bad. Um, no, that I don't think I have. I think I only own 1Q84. Where did I put it? Oh, I don't even know where I put those books. Did I put them on the shelf? No. Oh, they're there. Okay. I don't actually think I've read anything by him. Do you have any pets? I have a cat. Um, and she doesn't like being cuddled, which is a shame because I like to cuddle pets. <laughs> oh. Have I read the Natural series by Jennifer Lynn Barnes? No, I haven't. Why a Criminal Minds? I haven't even watched Criminal Minds. I apologise. Uh, someone actually asked me that the other day. I haven't read it. Oh, sorry. Watch the series. It's cold in my room, but I like it freezing. I like a meat locker. I can't deal with that amount of gold. Oh my goodness. Three fans at once. That is intense. Uh, favorite LGBTQ book? Hmm. More happy than not, I really enjoyed. I also really liked George. It's a, a trans character. So I'm just hopping off of my favorite shelf again to see if anything else pop up. But I think those two are probably some of my, a couple of my favorites. <coughs> How do you find time to read so much, or do you just read really fast? Um, it really does help that, at least after starting this job, that I've got quite a bit of commute time. The jobs that I've had before have been, like, the longest I've had to drive was maybe 15 minutes to work. So now that I have to sit in a bus for an hour, I have a lot more time to read, which is super handy. And also audiobooks are a lifesaver, absolute lifesaver, because I'm able to multitask with audiobooks. Um, so I'm able to get a lot more reading done than I would if I'd been physically reading those books. Even though it does take longer to listen to audiobooks than to actually read them, uh, at least for me anyway, um, I can usually get through them a little bit quicker just because I'm able to spend more time listening to audiobooks than sitting down and reading a book. Have you read Sailor Moon? No, I haven't. I'm, when I was younger, I didn't actually watch much of Sailor Moon either. It, it was just never on when... Like, I never saw it on TV. Well, maybe once or twice. But it's never really on for me. 
I have to watch and get into it. Quickest DNF. Hmm. The... So You by Austin Grossman was probably one of the quicker ones. There is a book that I started at the beginning of the year. What is it? Where did all of my books go? Um, it's probably in here actually. Stalking Jack the Ripper. It wasn't an intentional DNF. I haven't technically classified it yet because I haven't quite given up on it. But I was, I started reading it for a readathon and then I just never got around to finishing it. So it didn't end up happening, unfortunately. Um, favorite supernatural character and thoughts on the current season? I haven't actually finished season 10. That's the latest season that I watched part of. My favorite character. <clears throat> Well, I really like Dean's humour, but I also am really interested by, oh my god, what is his name? Mm, it's been so long since I've watched any Supernatural. Mm, I'm awful, oh my gosh. The really, what is his name? Oh, I feel like it starts with a, you have to Google it. This is embarrassing. I'm ashamed of myself right now. Oh, I'm going to be so annoyed at myself. Oh, I really like Cass. Crowley, that's the one. I find him really funny. The one I was thinking of was Cass. No, Crowley, but I also really like Cass as well. Castiel. <laughs> Crowley, no. Oh, I don't know. I just start, like I, I didn't like him when we first met him, but I start. He started. I don't know what's happened in the last couple of seasons. So if I was up to date, my thoughts may have changed. But I was starting to like him towards the end of it. Thoughts on the new American Gods series? I'm really excited to watch it. I'm almost finished reading the book. So I cannot wait to watch it. Um, I'm procrastinating now. I don't want to get on with this because I don't know how I'm going to do it. Um, I think I'm going to have to start working backwards to double stack books. And then see how I, how much of it should do. Maybe I'll just leave piles of books on the floor. <laughs> um, am I going to be at the Sydney Writers' Festival? Yes, I will be at the Sydney Writers' Festival. I'm hosting one of the panels on the Saturday. So I will definitely be there. <laughs> uh, da -da -da -da. Yeah, Crowley definitely grows on you. And he was definitely growing on me. Um... Mm -mm 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 -mm. Um, sorry, some of the questions are moving up faster than I'm able to think about finding a uh, response. <clears throat> I can't. Oh, favorite Game of Thrones character. I've only read the first book and watched the first season, and it's been so long since I've done both of those that I wouldn't. I can't. I can't think of anything. If you're stuck inside the last book you read, what would you be doing now? Okay, I'm I'm not going to include books that I'm currently reading because I'm reading like four books at once. When's the last one I finished? I think it was Oh, it was Full Metal Alchemist. I would like to be an alchemist. Um I'm really, really enjoying these books, by the way. <laughs> Sorry, I was just flicking through them again. I don't know what I would do. I mean, I probably, I wouldn't be a state alchemist. I don't think that would work at all. But I would like to be able to use alchemy. So maybe I would be teaching myself how to do that. Have I read any supernatural books or fan fiction? 
No, I haven't. I did own one of these Supernatural books for a little while, but I think I got rid of it. Um, one of my friends read it um, and said it was pretty awful, and like it was also just badly edited. Like there were so many typos and stuff. Like it obviously hadn't been edited, and it was just a bit not very like yeah, just kind of a bit of a rush to write the book or something like that. So. I wasn't ever really super excited to read after I heard that, unfortunately. But have you read any of the Supernatural books? Um, I haven't read any of the fanfiction either, to be honest. But... Yes. If you had a theme song that played whenever you entered a room, what song would it be and why? It would be Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen, because... There's a period in my life for a couple of years when I would literally sing nothing else but Bohemian Rhapsody. And by sing, I mean like sing all of the words plus like simultaneously, not simultaneously, but also like sing the music parts of it, like the guitar solos. It is one of my favourite songs and it just gets me so excited every time. And if that was my theme song, I would be constantly singing and dancing. I think that would make me pretty happy. And it's just so, like, it'd be a very long theme song, don't get me wrong, but I just like how the song has just so many different kind of parts to it, like the guitar solos, and then the slower bits, and then the bits where you can headbang. <sighs> um, I'm not quite following along with a lot of the comments that are happening right now. <coughs> Excuse me. Um... How many books do you average reading at the same time? Probably, uh, at the moment it's about three. I would like to get down to just two so that I'm reading a physical book and also listening to an audiobook. That would be my ideal kind of multiple reading situation. I've been doing this for two hours, I know. <laughs> Where did I get my little owl necklace? Um, the one, I'm not wearing it at the... I used to wear it all the time, I'm not wearing it at the moment, um, but my friend actually gave it to me for a birthday. Oh, Crowley's gotten a bit dumber in the last couple of seasons. That sucks. Oh. What would you rate the latest seasons though? I think I was kind of losing a tiny bit of interest when I was, where I was up to in season 10. Um, I feel like if I continued, I'd probably have to start from the very beginning of Supernatural. Listen to three as well. Oh my goodness. I don't think I could listen to three audiobooks at once. Um, just because I feel like listening to an audiobook, I don't retain quite as much information as if I read a physical book. So if I was listening to quite a few at once, I'd probably be more likely to forget what had just happened than if I was reading them physically. Okay. Favourite book of all time? <sighs> That's a tough question. So, hmm, Standalone, The Book Thief, series The King Killer Chronicles. I have not seen Beauty and the Beast yet. I've been meaning to see it with my friends since it came out, but our, all of our schedules are just completely opposite, so it hasn't happened yet. It's really sadly. <laughs> If you could choose to either only watch TV or only read books, what would I choose? I would definitely choose books. I do enjoy watching TV, but it's not as much of a hobby as reading is for me. And I feel like I don't watch as many TV shows as I do read books. Um, like, I'll re-watch a few TV shows rather than starting a lot of different ones. <clears throat> Sorry, I was about to answer a question then realised it was actually someone else in the comments. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Over the last year I've averaged constantly reading five plus one audiobook. Life of a grad student. Oh yes, it's awful. Season 11's okay. Rocky start the set to back up. Okay. That's good to know. Do I listen to any podcasts? I've only ever listened to one, podca ugh, one podcast, and that was the first series of Serial. I've never really gotten into anything else. Um, I did enjoy that, though. But, um, 
yeah. I don't know. I think... I don't know. I think I preferred, like, spending my time listening to audiobooks. Just... That's just the way I would do it. I know that's probably why I haven't listened to podcasts, because I find myself automatically going to audiobooks. I don't listen to a lot of music either, because rather than listening to the radio or my own music in the car, I'll listen to an audiobook. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to take the bottom books off the shelf and start putting the ones I'm going to hide down there and see how I go fitting things. The thing about doing this colour coordinated is that I'm not able to put them on easily so that they can fit. I mean, I can... See, the tricky thing is the bulky books that I want, the books that I'm putting behind, if they're bulky, ideally would want to have a small book in front of it so it actually fits on the shelf, but that means I would see the books that I'm trying to hide. Okay, we'll see how this goes. Because um, I don't really want to have too much overhang. But if that's what happens, I guess I'll just have to deal with it. So, I've got a stack of books here that are in colours that are a bit too tricky to put on the shelf. I'm actually going to have a quick look and see if there's anything else that I should take off. <clears throat> That's grey. Oh, this one. Clock of Prince is a tricky one because it's metallic, but if you put it next to grey ones, it looks more brown. And if you put it next to brown ones, well, the brown ones are going behind anyway. So I'm just going to put copper prints there. That one. That one. Um, okay. I think we're good. I reckon that'll probably do for ones that I'm purposely trying to hide. Oh no, actually, you know what? I'm going to do this. So these ones are tricky as well because this doesn't blend in with like going from white to grey because it's got white and black. So they're going to be funky to try and do. Raven boys. Ooh. This as well. Alright. Oh, yes, this has been going on for a little while. Hmm. Stack the books behind horizontally. That's probably a really good idea. I'll probably just have to end up putting them all the way to the top as well if I can fit them. All right. Horizontal. That's what I'm going to try. See how that goes. I think that with the amount of books as well, I'm still going to have to put them all the way to the, like, stack them all the way to the top. So I'll just make sure I put some behind that kind of work. Or maybe I can just put black ones up the top. So it looks like they're all black. Oh, have I gone funky? Okay. Just checking that you guys can still see me. I'm like on my screen it's coming up with a loading sign which isn't very good um, it says the stream is oh stream is continuing oh no guys this isn't good
No. Okay, it looks like it's back but really poor, which is a bit of a shame. <clears throat> I'm using, oh goodness, this is not fun. Sorry guys, I'm so sorry. This is not ideal. Now the reason, oh. I don't want to continue if it's going to be really like, lagging because that's just not fun for anybody to watch. <sighs> not sure how to fix it. Um, cause I'm using my 4G for internet because my Wi-Fi just wasn't working. I'm assuming my brother's watching too many things. Um, if you don't mind just letting me know how it keeps on going. For me, the screen is just not doing anything. I'm not sure what you guys are seeing, but what I'm seeing is me just sitting there and waiting, which was what I was doing while it was going on and offline. So if it's catching up, then it's a serious lag. Okay, it looks like it's better. Oh, sorry, this is awful. I mean, I will figure out. <laughs> it's normal for me now. Working, okay, so it's working for some people. I'm not sure if what you're hearing is coming through like several minutes after or not, though, because it might have played catch up while after it was offline, which would really suck. Because that means it's out of time by like five minutes. Okay. I'm finally seeing myself talking, and I started talking a few minutes ago, so... Okay, it seems to be fixed. Okay, cool. It looks like we're good. Still might be a bit of a delay in what you're seeing. But we can deal with that. Okay, we're back. 
Sorry about that. I don't know what happened with my internet. I've uh, moved my phone to somewhere else, so hopefully it's a bit better now. Okay, what was I doing? Starting to rearrange the bottom shelf. <clears throat> okay. Can I read your messages? I can read your messages. This is a lot better than before. Okay, good. I'm talk You guys are seeing me talking. <laughs> For anyone who's watching this after the fact, this will be a lot of fun. Is there a book that influenced me greatly? Hmm. I mean, there have been books that have influenced me, but like, in super different ways. So it depends what angle you're kind of taking for it. Um, one of the first things that is coming to mind, sounds like I for the video, fabulous! Um, the first, one of the first things that is coming to mind is, oh, this is another childhood series that I forgot to mention. Um, Rowan of Rin. Rowan of Rin by Emily Rodder, and that was a book, I think that was probably the first book that actually inspired me to write. Um, and I mean, what I wrote after that was pretty much fan fiction. I pretty much stole all of the ideas and thought I was being hella original. I was just inspired by the book, but really it would have been like a, an exact replica of it. Um, <laughs> What university courses am I doing? So this semester I'm doing one on modernism. I am doing the introductory gender studies and I'm doing media, which is interesting, but not that great. I love Rowan of Rin. Yes, okay. I don't think there's a huge delay. Um, just going on how quickly <laughs> that comment came through. But yeah, I, I really, really enjoyed those books. I actually think I want to reread them. I think I'd still really enjoy it. So one day. Okay. Um, I'm going to try and stack the books behind according to height. So let me just figure out how this is going to work. Ooh, the original versions of Rowan and Rin in really good condition at a book fair. Hopefully I can find a good, um, sorry, my mind is completely blanked. Um, yeah, I really want to pick up some and eventually read them. I wonder if they'd still have any, if I looked at my bookstore, if they'd be there. Probably not. I mean, they're, I don't know. I'll take a look next time, but I'll also be keeping an eye out in secondhand bookstores because I want to have a look. So I can reread those at some point. Um, the reason I don't own them is because I borrowed them from my school library when I was in primary school. I haven't read or watched any Game of Thrones after the first book slash first season, so I can't comment on how it ended. And please, no spoilers. Um, is that a Brandon Sanderson that doesn't have price, pride of place standing? upright on a shelf. I will be moving it. I just moved these books here were on the bottom shelf, but I had to move them out of the way because I'm reorganizing from the bottom up now. Um, can you wave? It seems like the video is behind from the comments. Yeah, I suspect that's the case. I think that uh, when my internet was going in and out, uh, when it started again, it played a bit of catch up because it's recording from a different program than YouTube. So, if that's the case, it might be a bit of a lag, but I don't think it's too bad now. Um, how long does it take to read a book? In the past couple of years, it's taken me a lot longer to read than I normally would. So my average at the moment is probably about a week. Um, I used to be able to read like two or three a week. Don't worry! Brendan Sanderson will be in a prime position once the shelf is done. I have I literally just chucked all of these books there so that I could get them on the shelf so I'd have room here to rearrange things. Um, there's going to be no space. These, ugh, the books that I'm putting behind are so big that I don't think 
the books I'm going to have to put in front are going to need to be really small books, I think. Hmm. I've only read one Brandon Sanderson book, haven't I? I've only read Warbreaker, which sucks because there will eventually be a sequel, but he's not focusing on he's focusing on his other series at the moment, so which makes me sad because I really need more of that story. Um so the next time I pick up a Brandon Sanderson, I'm going to ensure that all of the books are out. Um, and I was going to continue with Miss Blonde, but then he's bringing up more of those books. Um, so, okay. Let's give it this a whirl. Which I don't know. Hmm. Got some odd size of books here. Dust jacket just kind of moves up a little bit. I don't want it to get ruined. Okay. Alright. Any plans after the reorganization? I'm going to lie down. Um, and no, I'm not done reorganizing. I still have five stacks of books that I haven't even put onto my shelf yet. And as you can see, I don't have much room. So I'm working on double stacking the books. Um, okay. I'm going to have to start unwillingly sacrificing some books to go behind. Oh, I think I'm going to put quite a few of the white ones behind just because there are a lot of different shades of white that won't seamlessly blend. <clears throat> what camera am I using? I'm just using the inbuilt camera on my laptop at the moment. Do, do, do. Hello people! Um. Did I read Girl Boss? No, I haven't. I didn't know. I'm not familiar with Girl Boss. Unfortunately. Oh, my knees are so sore. Ugh, I'm going to have to move around a little more. Because <laughs> squatting isn't doing uh, wonders. It is, is it cold where you are? I'm in Australia too and it's freezing in my place. Actually, no, it's quite warm here. Well, at least it's a comfortable temperature. Um, this is like my ideal temperature. I can't think of how hot it is though. Apparently it is 19 degrees. That's a bit cold for me. I don't believe that. My weather app doesn't up, like to update a lot. Okay, so... Going to the S behind. Let's see if we can go at the top. Oh no, that's bigger than I anticipated. That's alright, I will deal with it. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, I should add some questions so that you're not just looking at my back. Are your glasses prescribed? If so, how high are they? Yes, they are prescription. And I have no idea. I don't have a very high prescription. Um, I honestly can't remember. Then my eyes aren't terrible, but like there's enough of a difference that I use them quite a bit now. <sighs> I think I will be here for a little while. That sucks that you're sick and you have a sinus and ear infection. That sounds absolutely awful. I'll be here probably for another couple of hours, still reorganizing, so you'll have enough to keep uh, you occupied. Maybe you can fall asleep while watching. That would be nice. Then you can not have to deal with the sickness for a little while. Are you excited for the Bibliothon? I'm so excited. I cannot wait. I'm really looking forward to making some of the videos as well. 
is YouTube my only job? Absolutely not. I wouldn't even count YouTube as a job. I don't. I, I do not make anywhere near enough to live off of YouTube. I have a part-time job at the moment and I'm still at university. Um, oh, I forgot about these ones. The first book I reread was Twilight by Marissa Meyer. Um, and that is because it was the first book I remember rereading, but it is likely one of the first that I reread. And that was because I went away on holiday when I was leaving. I had Twilight at the airport. I knew I was going to finish it, so I bought New Moon. I finished Twilight and New Moon on the flight over to where I was going. And then later on in the trip, we were in France, and I couldn't pick up the third book. Everywhere I went, they only had, like, they didn't have a French edition of Twilight. Of, um, no, they didn't have an English edition of Twilight. They had the French ones, um, obviously. <laughs> so I couldn't pick up the next book in the series, so I reread Twilight. I feel guilty for watching this for two hours when I hear my fiance doing the dishes. Oh, oh I love it. <laughs> Tell him to keep it down. That's hilarious. Oh. oh, gosh. Entertainment. This is very productive for you guys. <laughs> oh. It's midnight. Oh, my goodness. I still have so much of my day to go. And I'm already tired. I'm ready to go to bed. Okay, let's continue. Okay. I need another tall book. Like abnormally tall book. I don't think I have one. So I'm just trying to... This isn't very easy, folks. I'm not at all. Oh, I think I know where some tables are. Oh, they would be perfect. Okay. Let me just see. Perfect! Um... Oh, no. Right at the bottom of my stack. This is getting messy again. Okay, let me see if there's any questions there. Very clever. Organize your bookshelves while watching me organize my bookshelves. Organization section. I'm playing The Sims. <gasps> I haven't played The Sims in so long. Actually, no, I recently, the beginning of the year I played for a little bit, but um, yeah, that's a, like I don't play a lot of video games during university semesters because I know that it will distract me a lot. The Sims is one of my all-time favourites, like I've consistently played it every summer for years. Um, it is fabulous, I love it. Okay. That's, uh... I do not speak any other languages, sadly. I've like, very briefly learnt French, Italian, and Japanese, but never got far enough to be fluent in any way, <laughs> shape or form. Um, sadly, I do wish that I knew a language. I do wish that I had successfully learnt a language, though, because I think that would be an incredible skill to have. Absolutely. Okay. Um... Okay. I think I'm going to put. Where did I? Oh, there. I think I'm going to put <laughs> this front ways on my shelf because there's no room to put any more books there. Um, that'll be my two there. Now I need that one there. Um. What's my major? Hi Sam! I'm having... Oh god, this is... 
taking so long. Taking so long. And it's... I haven't reorganised my shelves. When should I move back home? November? And I've been putting this off because I was not looking forward to this. My major is um, English. And I'm only doing a Bachelor of Arts at the moment. Which character would you like to do this for you? Hmm. Who would be good? I'm trying to think of any character that would willingly do this and like colour coordinated, if you know what I mean. Like would actually arrange my books in the way that I want them to. Uh, okay. I need more books to put behind. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Oh no, lag. Yeah, I think there's a bit of lag again. What future book release are you most excited about? Obsidio by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Absolutely. That is Katie Hermione. Hermione? Do you think she would organise them by colour though? I don't think that's the most efficient way of organising the books, so I don't know if she'd do it by colour. But I mean... If I was, like, at the same time, if I wasn't persi persistent on having them colour coordinated, Hermione would be a good person to do them, because I think she would do them in a way that would make a lot of sense, rather than just being aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I should be asleep, but this is not interesting. Well, I'm glad you're finding this interesting. <laughs> um, what book would you like to read, but from a different character's point of view? Hmm. I would like to read My Sister Rosa from Rosa's point of view because I think she would be a really fascinating character to get inside of her head. Um, yeah, that would be a really interesting one, I think. Oh no. See, this is the thing. Like, having big books there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to pray that that book doesn't get knocked. I mean, it's right in the corner, so it should be fine. <sighs> If it was in the middle of the night, I'd be cleaning with these on the speakers. You make me want to be productive. I'm glad I'm inspiring you to be productive then. Um, even though I'm kind of procrastinating as I do this by talking rather than organizing. But like, I don't want you guys to be bored watching this. So. Oh, okay. Let's see. White books. I need to get rid of some of these books. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I'm just going to have to make the bottom shelf protrude a lot, because otherwise this is just not going to happen. <clears throat> so, okay, what white books am I going to show? I'm going to show the ones that are very white. <coughs> I'm going to hide that one. Those will probably... That's not really grey. That one's not really grey. This is kind of like a cream, so I want to hide the cream ones. Lolita, that is cream. And that one. Okay, so where's the rest of my stage? Let me just... Okay, there. go there. Oh, you know what I use? I usually organize my white ones based on the color of the text. Ugh. Okay, so they're looking pretty good. Okay, this is down there. That's a cream as well. So I'm just gonna hide all of the cream ones because they make it difficult for me. Um, that's a tricky one. Too many colors. Okay, so then we start with the grays. Okay, this is going to get interesting. Favourite multiple point of view book? Hmm, that's a tricky one. I mean, do you mean multiple point of view in terms of first person? Because, um... 
Because, like, for the Lunar Chronicles, for example, that's third person, isn't it? And we do follow different characters, but that's just because it is in third person that you can follow the different characters. So, if having it as, if like, multiple points of view, but having it in third person counts, then... Then you have the Lunar Chronicles. I'd say that. Um... Very confused for <laughs> Okay. I'm a little bit confused by what's happening in the comments at the moment. I think people are talking to each other. Okay. <clears throat> so the next step from here this this there. And then what else do I need to put behind? Oh, I forgot about these ones. Oh, goodness. Okay. That's a grey one. That works. The way I'm organising in this very much reflects how I do everything. Like, I start with one thing. For example, I was doing these things behind. And then I was like, oh, I should organise which ones are white. And how they're going to go. And then I, I just, like, jump from thing to thing. If that makes any sense? Like... If you look at my computer browser, for example, I usually have on average about 20 apps open because I jump between them all. Like, when I'm going through my subscription feeds, I open, like, 20 at a time. I start watching one video till my, like, till my attention starts wandering, then I pause it and move to the next one. So I just, like, keep jumping between them so that I don't get bored of one. <laughs> yes. If I could have one superpower, what would it be? Pausing time. I want to be able to, like, pause or speed up time so that I can pause it and just read for as long as I want. Or I could speed it up if something unpleasant is happening and I just can't wait to get through it. You know what I mean? What did you think of the girl in the train? I liked it, but the main character was kind of annoying. Um, if you could live in any book world, which would you choose? <clears throat> hmm... I'm not going to say Hogwarts, well, like, Hogwarts hands down, yes, but I don't want to say it just because that's kind of the typical answer. So instead, let's see, what's some other cool ones that I would enjoy living in? I think, see, the thing, a lot of the books that I really enjoy, the world would not be a nice place to live in at all. I mean, Akane Academy would be a lot of fun, minus the Friend of Avon, because the library would be really cool. Um, I'm going to say that one for now. <sighs> okay, I need to continue doing this. Alright, Ray. I have all the gray books somewhere. There we go, there's one. Hmm. These grey are hard because some of them are like blue toned and some of them are slightly more ready toned underneath. So I couldn't have to put them together. Um, I read My Sister Rose. Oh my god, my, my the comments are showing up really funny on my computer. I read My Sister Rose and the Darker Shade of Magic because you talked about them. Love them both. Oh yeah, that makes me so happy. I'm trying to get everybody to read My Sister Rose. But I loved it. Loved it. Ooh, here's another one. Oh, metallic. Why do you do this to me? I'm gonna hide metallic because they're tricky to try and work the way around. Here's one Q84. No, these are two different colours. That's fine because one's lighter than the other. <coughs> um. So, what was I doing? Mm. What about Narnia? Possibly? I haven't read... 
Mm. It's been a long time since I've actually done anything. I actually have a Chronicles of Money here that I haven't actually read this book. Have it. This is probably one of the long, like oldest books that I own. Um, I feel like I want to read more of these books before I made that kind of decision because I've only like been exposed to like a couple of the Narnia stories. So who knows what other wonders there are that I'm missing out on. I don't want to do this anymore, guys. This is going to take a really long time. Soon, I want to read a whole book in a day. It depends how long the book is, how possible this is, because, I mean, you really have to have, um, like, I've been able to read a book in a day, but it's a day that you have to have absolutely nothing on, you need to have a lot of snacks by you, you need to have a super comfortable position, and you need to make sure that nobody else is around to distract you, and then you just got to read, read, read. Worst book I had to study for junior year school. Ooh, this is an interesting one. I can't think of all the books that I've had to study. Mm. Well, I mean, back in high school, I really didn't like Jane Eyre. <laughs> so, I mean, that's probably my go-to answer. Because I really didn't like it. I didn't finish reading it because I couldn't, so I just skipped to the end. Lord of the Flies. I actually liked Lord of the Flies. Um... That was one of the first ones that I actually managed to finish because I was enjoying the book. How long does it take to film a video? My average video, it, like the footage ends up being around 20-25 minutes. Um, and that usually ends up being about a 7 minute, no, between 5 and 7 minute video. Organising my shelf usually is me taking my books off the shelf and then changing my mind. <laughs> yeah, I mean there's no going back now. I mean, I could just chuck them on in any which way, but I've got to do this. Is My Sister Rosa a scary book? It's not scary, it's kind of like a psychological thriller in that the main character's younger sister is a bit of a psychopath, so... I mean, it's not, like, scary, but you're kind of questioning... I know, there's a bit of mystery elements and you're questioning how evil she is, um, if that makes sense. <clears throat> Are you interested in creative writing? I've done a couple of creative writing courses at my uni. I did one, yeah, I think it was two classes that I've done for it. And I enjoyed it, um, but, like, recently I would have more time, more trouble with it just because I don't have much creativity in that area right now. So it would be really hard, like, writing assessments when there's not much creative juices flowing. Oh, thank you. I hope you have a great day as well. Thanks for coming along and watching. Who's Mike? Is Selection a good book? I mean, it's enjoyable. It's not like a, one of the best books I've ever read. I enjoyed it. Main characters are kind of frustrating at times, but it was fun. It was a fun book. I do like graphic novels. I... At the end of the month... Where is it? What's well, Saga here? That's one of the next ones I'm going to be reading. And... Where is it? Oh, Pencil and Gravel as well. This is a graphic novel, isn't it? Oh, uh, no. Well, I mean, like, it's half illustrations, rather. I do like graphic novels, though. Thoughts on unreliable narrators. Any recommendations for a book of fun? I really do like unreliable narrators. Oh. Hmm. Who's an unreliable narrator? I can't think of anything to put top of my head. Um... The other one that's the last one that I read, I liked the book, I only gave it a three stars though, so I don't know how I feel about recommending it. Um, but I do like unreliable narrators. Like, similar to how, like, with psychological thrillers, how you're kind of questioning what's real, what's not, that type of thing, I like having unreliable narrators um, in that you're just wondering how much is a lie, how much is the truth. Um, Illuminae Files 3 is out soon. It's not coming out till next year, actually. Unfortunately, it's been pushed back the release till 2018. Which makes me very sad. <laughs> I'm majoring in English. 
and I don't think I'm going to do any further studies after I finish this. Uh, not anytime soon anyway. I don't have any desire to do anything after this. Okay, we need to continue. What am I doing next? That's not sufficiently grey. Okay, I think all of these ones are good colours. So I think the stack that I've got before me is pretty much all the ones that I'm going to willingly put behind. Because of the random colours. Okay, so I've got two. Oh! No! I've got two stacks here, so I need to find <clears throat> the ones that are already flattest. Okay, there's another hard color. That'll do. Oh no, I need another black one. I'm kind of half talking to myself at the moment. Um, where sticks all literature? I'm doing literature. Uh, do I read manga? Yes. Uh, besides the ones I've mentioned. Well, I haven't read a huge amount, so I've read Full Metal Alchemist and Death Note. Have I read any more? I think they may be the only two manga that I've read so far. But I'm enjoying them. <sighs> The first book I've seen was the ebook versus book video. That's probably the case for a lot of people because that's, I think, my most viewed video at this stage. And I keep getting, like, I, I get comments on the daily of people responding to that video. I don't know how that video has so many views. Um, but it does. Okay. Where was I? So that's going to go on top of. Oh, okay, this one is. There's a grey one. This is color, isn't it? Let's put that one there. And then that one on the top. And then do I have another book though? I'm starting to get hungry, guys. Uh oh. Um I can't be bothered to figure out where that needs to go, so I'm gonna put that there. <clears throat> Okay, so now we have the problem of fitting books on the bottom of this shelf when they don't want to fit. Let's pull six of the there, so that's a little more visible. What colour is that? Hmm. Got a bit of an ombre effect going on. I think I can probably go with the end. That. So, I'm going to have a lot of books overhanging at the bottom here, but, okay, I just basically need to oh, go through the ones that are the darkest of blacks to put on the bottom of the shelf, and then I can move up to organising the next one. Um, alright. I don't really read much non-fiction, to be quite honest. I like my fiction books a lot. I thought Illuminae 3 was coming out in the fall of this year. I think it was supposed to, but it's been pushed back. I'm not sure why, um, but it makes me sad as well because I really want one. I'm definitely going to do an updated version of my bookmark collection one day. Um, these are all of the new ones that I've gotten since. Actually, I think there's a few more, but this is a pretty good portion of the new bookmarks that I've gotten since I did my last collection video. <sighs> What do you intend to do with the Bachelor in English? Well, I am currently working in publishing, so that's pretty much where I wanted to be. So I'm probably just going to continue working where I am in publishing after I finish my degree. Um, I'm still really up in the air about what I want to do with my life, to be quite honest. So things may change. First video was about the Banned Bookathon. Oh, so you got a recent one. I'm hoping that I can do the Banned Bookathon again this year. That was a lot of fun. Um, depends how time goes because it's a bit lighter, isn't it? Um, 
I'll be doing my final semester of uni around the time of the band, uh, band Books Week's happening, so uh, I'm really hoping that, oh, why do you do this, Flame is? Why must you be an ombre effect? Ombre is tricky because it could go next to the really dark ones or the lighter colours, and it's just like, no. I'm going to put that behind because I don't want to deal with ombre. Okay, so what was I saying? I'll ban Bookathon. Yes, I am hoping to do that again this year. That was good fun. I do miss my pink hair, by the way. I miss it so much. Um, yeah. But I kind of want to spice it up a little bit. So my hair's faded, so it's supposed to be black to grey. Um, I'm going to get that done soon. And then eventually I probably will return to my uh, pink or red hair colour again, though, because I really, really miss it. It was just um, really hard to maintain. Like it faded super quickly, but at least with that colour, it fades really nicely. It doesn't look bad faded. Um, sometimes with like the teal colours, when they fade, it can. It really does, does depend on the colour, but sometimes the faded, the colour it fades to, isn't always the nicest. So at least with the reds, they're a good one. Did you make a video on how you got to work for a publisher? I did a really uh, brief video announcing that I've started working with them, um, but people have been asking me questions about it, so I will do a Q&A talking a little more in depth about, um, what was I saying? In depth about like my experience with it. Um, are you talking about Les Mis being black? It's not actually black, it's, it's black up the top and then it fades to blue down the bottom. So, make my life difficult. Um, what subjects were you good bad at in high school? I was good at English. I was good at history. I was... Oh, I started out being good at maths, and then towards the end of it, I ended up being really bad at maths. Um, I'm good at easy maths, but I'm not good at the really tricky maths. I'm really bad at physics and chemistry and biology, just no science. I'm not good with science. Um, the best book I've ever read. I've already talked about my favourite books, um, but I'll just reiterate a couple of my, the best ones. So, The Book Thief as my, like, the best standalone, um, and The Name of the Wind. That series, The Patch of Breakfast, has, like, one of the best series, in my opinion. That book's, like, that series is like, those two books, actually, probably, they're not for everybody. Um, like, if you have trouble with books that are slower in pace, you probably will have a hard time getting into both of those books. Um, I kind of like my slower, um, character-driven books. So, those two are definitely that type of thing. Um, so they can be quite hard to get into. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm fine. I keep finding more tricky books. Okay. <coughs> Are you waiting for the King Killer TV series? Have, has that been announced? Like, is that something that's like hopefully in the works, or is that, like, am I imagining that I saw an announcement about that? I'm hoping that it's in the works. That would be amazing. Um, if it is, then yes. Okay. Um, let's actually try and put the bigger ones in the corner. Okay. <clears throat> I think they started filming. Oh my gosh, so it's actually happening. <gasps> I love that. I really hope that they do a good job. I feel like that would be like a really... I hope it's a good series. I really do. I just hope it's not another George R. 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 Martin situation where we don't get the final book before the like TV series is finishing or like concluding. Ugh, if you know what I mean. That's the only thing that annoys me about things like that. 
Did we learn much about US history in school? Um, <clears throat> excuse me. No, I haven't actually listened to Hamilton. Um, I mean, no, not a huge amount. I mean, we'd obviously learn about history in things, um, sorry, we'd obviously learn a bit about US history in things like, with, in regards to the wars and things like that. But for the most part, in those types of situations, it would be more from an Australian perspective and we would focus on Australian history in terms of modern history anyway. Then obviously in ancient history we would delve into like Greece, ancient Greece, Roman, Egypt and all that kind of stuff. But we didn't like, there wasn't a huge focus on UN, US history in uh, primary school. I think if I were to find a, U a university course about it possibly, but um, that wasn't our main focus. That is great. Oh my gosh, good luck, that's so exciting to send in graduate applications. Best of luck with all of it. Um, I have not read Black Ice, and that is also really cool, they're making a darker shade of magic into a TV series. So many TV series happening, it makes me so excited. It's tricky trying to determine what is more black and what is slightly less black. Okay, this one's going to stick out wide, isn't it? I'm going to put you in the corner. <clears throat> okay, so I'm actually kind of not getting towards the other black books. Never mind. Oh, okay. See. getting there. I don't think I have a huge amount of buttons to go actually. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to do next. Maybe we can do Sorry, got a little into it there. Do I have a fan on? No, what you're hearing is likely my computer fan, because I can hear it from here. Um, so that's my, my computer making the noise. <clears throat> Are you eventually going to make a video about this reorganization? I mean, I probably won't... I don't know, I hadn't actually thought about it. <laughs> I hadn't thought about it, but um, I mean, I might do a bit of a tour, but... I think it's a bit unlikely because I'd rather do a bookshelf tour with all of my books and with half of them still in boxes. That makes it a little bit tricky. Um, oh, see, that's a slightly bluer black. So not really black at all, but just making it different. Um, if that's something you're interested in, then I'd definitely be curious about um, hearing that feedback. But I mean, I could always do an up. See, that's the thing, I would want to wait till all of my books are out, because I did a video before I had red hair, so quite a long time ago, talking about how I organised my bookshelves, and that, that was quite a while ago. So I could do an updated one, but at the same time, like I said, like since most of my books are in boxes, I, I would prefer to wait. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Slowly but surely. Okay. No. Would you go on a road trip all around Australia? I think that would be a lot of fun. I feel like I haven't seen a huge amount of Australia. Like, I've seen a fair bit, but... Like, I feel like there's a lot that I'm missing out on, so I would absolutely do a road trip around Australia at some point. Ugh. You know when, like, you have to squish your books on because, like, the shelf is, like, a millimetre too squishy? Okay, so, I think my bottom shelf is done. 
I think I might need to rearrange it because it looks too much like I tried to organize it in height there and then there's a random oh, random couple bits popping out. Okay. It's not completely done, but I will do it another time. So I have <clears throat> that's the grey one. Okay, so I think I'm gonna put all of these books behind as well. That can go behind. Oh no, I'm getting a surprisingly large amount of books that I want to put behind now. That might work out in my favour, we will see. Am I going to the Australian VidCon? I probably will go, because originally the only reason I wouldn't have gone would be if I was going over the, to the States for BookNet Fest, because I think it's like a week after BookNet Fest. So because I'm not going to that anymore, I probably have time to go to VidCon. So if I'm able to go, I will. What do I drink at Starbucks? I don't really drink from Starbucks because Starbucks isn't... Well, one, I don't really like coffee, and number two, Starbucks isn't a huge thing in Australia. I, there's, like, very few, um, because Australians don't like Starbucks coffee, apparently. It is currently 4pm over here. Um, rainbow shelves are pleasing to the eye, but I don't think I'd like having series and authors separated. I totally get you, that's why I'm happy to do my TBR pile separately, because I, I'm not hugely fussed about having them all together when I haven't read them. If that makes sense. Just because I feel like my TBR shelf is constantly moving because I'm constantly adding things to it. I don't know if that makes any sense. Um, like, what I did have before, which I really liked, was I had... Um, when I was still in the place I was living in before, I had one bookshelf with all of my unread books, and I did that colour coordinated. Then with the other bookshelf I had, I had on one side, because it was a double-sided one, on one side I had my standalones colour coordinated, on the other side I had all of my series together in height order. And I think it worked pretty well. How much have you missed? How long have we been going for? I can't actually see my computer screens being a bit funny. Minus two hours. Have we been going for more than two hours? Um, okay. All right, so it is time to move on to the next shelf. Okay, I'm going to have to get up for this. So... Best voice acting in audiobooks? I would vote for January Lavoie, who did the Diviner series by Libba Bray. I think she did an incredible job. Absolutely fantastic. Um, she was really good with the accents and making it feel like I was actually hearing people from that, from the 1920s in New York. Um, in addition, she also, like there's some singing parts and she has a nice singing voice as well. So. She did the singing portions of that too, which was very nice indeed, very pleasing. So I think she's she's probably one of the best um, narrators I've heard doing an audiobook in probably ever. So I would vote for that. Okay. So these are the last black books that I need to organise. No, they're more great, they'll go the other end. Okay. If possible, I'm hoping to put more of these behind so I don't have a huge amount of black on my shelf, just because I'd rather focus on the colour, because it's more nice to look at. Um, if you can live in any country, where would you live? I'm not too sure. I feel like I would probably stick with maybe Canada. I feel like I'm not sure how I would do living in a country where there was a bit more of a culture shock. Um, but at the same time, living in a country where there is a different language would force me to learn a new language, which I would really enjoy doing. So, Switzerland. I loved Switzerland. Maybe I could live there. 
And they have regions that speak like a, a couple of different languages, don't they? Is it? Is there a, a region that speaks French and one that speaks German or something like that? Correct me if that is wrong, but I'm pretty sure that there's a couple of different ones. Just friend you on Goodreads, are you potentially able to respond? If I can find your request, um, I have, I'll be honest, I have about 10,000 friend, rec friend requests on Goodreads and I can't add any more because I've reached the maximum amount of friends on Goodreads. <laughs> but if anyone has randomly unfriended me or like deleted their account, I can go in and see if I can find you, but it's going to be really tricky. Canada has French, we will welcome you. Oh yay! Oh I forgot about that. Yes, they have a French, uh, they, some of the, some of Canada speaks the French as well. <sighs> Saddest book I've ever read. <laughs> One of the World War II ones. The book thief was pretty damn devastating, and I think... Codename Verity was also pretty sad. Give me a book set during World War II and I will pretty much be guaranteed to bawl my eyes out. Okay. So I think that can go on the top. That can sit over the top of the other books and that might not be a problem then. Okay. Talking to myself again. Don't mind me. Okay. Ow, that hurts. Are you watching Riverdale? I have never heard of Riverdale. You don't want to live in Switzerland, it's boring as hell here. Oh, that's sad to hear. <laughs> um, I really liked it when I visited. I thought it was beautiful. Um, but I feel like there won't be many book events to go to, which would make me sad. So, yes, I still live in Australia. I haven't even, like, moved... Like, I moved out of home, but not very far. <clears throat> I'm doing a Bachelor of Arts in English. In this time, I've half cleaned my room and made myself a meal. Love it! Productivity! I also need to make myself a meal at some point, because I am hungry. Okay. <clears throat> If I can find you guys on in the Goodreads thing, I'll try and add you, but I apologise if I miss it because there's a lot of um, people that have requested to be friends and I mean I can go to the end of it, but if there's more people that have added since you guys do, then that might make it a little trickier, but I will do my best. music do I listen to? Would the, and also would the US give you a culture shock? I don't think so. I've been there a couple of times now and I didn't find the shock, I didn't find the culture to be much of a shock. It's pretty similar to, to um, Australia. It's probably one of, like, I feel like the cultures in the UK, US and Australia are pretty much similar. It'd be really easy to kind of move across them, if you know what I mean. Like, it wouldn't take a lot of getting used to, probably. In my opinion, I don't think I would. Um, sorry, what kind of music do I listen to? Not much. Um, <laughs> but I do... What, okay, I'll give you some examples of uh, bands that I listen to. Um, Imagine Dragons, Bastille... Oh, what's his name? Oh, Glass Animals, I went to their concert, that was so much fun. Um, Kygo, love Kygo. Um, I don't actually listen to a huge amount of music, so my list is pretty short. Who else is there? Arctic Monkeys, Gorillas. Oh, there's Australian, oh, the Australian band. Oh my goodness. Sticky Fingers. Um, 
those are some of the bands that I've been recently listening to. Hmm. Do you have any advice for how to branch out of young adult? It's intimidating somehow. I think you... I think you just need to be able to find the right kind of books that bridge that gap really well. Um, so I'm trying to think of what some good recommendations would be. If you do come across any booktubers that have like have predominantly, predominantly read a lot of young adult and have recently been branching out into adult, maybe have a look at the books that they've recently been reading in that bridging, gear, uh, bridging period because it's probably, they've probably been reading some books that were quite easy to transition into. So, I mean, The Name of the Wind, The Kingkiller Chronicles by Patrick Rothfuss would be, in my opinion, a really good series, um, especially if you do like fantasy, kind of diving into the high fantasy adult, the adult high fantasy genre. Um, I find that, that series really easy to read, really easy to follow along. There's definitely a lot of world building, but... I was able to wrap my head around it really easily. Um, <clears throat> maybe some Brandon Sanderson ones would be pretty good as well. Getting into that genre, maybe. Possibly. I feel like his books are probably a little more intimidating. They are really large as well. Um, V.E. Schwab would be a good one. She does dabble in young adult and adult. So perhaps finding some authors as well that do write both would be a good one because I think they're probably wouldn't have as large a distinction in their young adult versus adult books in the writing. Like, there would be differences, certainly, but I feel like there probably isn't as much. So V.E. Schwab, I think, would be a good one. Um, <clears throat> I mean, the book thing probably isn't, tech isn't technically a young adult. We do follow a young character, but it doesn't read like young adult. The Martian was good. Yeah, I think it's just finding books that aren't quite as dense, maybe. Um, if you like contemporary, maybe dabbling in some of contemporary ones might be a good place to start. It's definitely scary, though, kind of um, breaking away from your comfortable uh, reading habits. For sure. Continuing on with this. So I'm going to put... Trying to find a thin book to stick in there. Okay, next stack. Any tips for HSE study? I'm not the best person to ask about HSE study. I won't lie, I pretty much studied for each exam like two days before the exam came up. I'm kind of good at, like, I'm able to retain information when I cram, but that's not what I would suggest. So I'm probably not the best person to ask. I don't have great study habits. Um, from the window it seems like the morning. It's in the afternoon, it's 4 p.m. here. It's actually quite cloudy. So perhaps it looks bright because there's not like sun shining in that direction. It's just kind of cloudy. Are your shoulders, uh, sorry, are your hands just doing their own thing now? It looks like uh, they were bored of you talking and just playing with the shoulders of your job. Probably, I wasn't really paying much attention, but I'm sure they're doing their own thing and fiddling. Because they feel like it's... Okay. Um, so basically, after these books are on 
Yeah. I'm just trying to think about what I'm doing. <clears throat> So, the, I'm almost finished putting the books on the shelf, so once I have that, I will have two shelves that are double stacked, and then that means I'll still have two shelves double stacked. Okay. Oh. See if I can squish it down anymore, but I have a feeling I'm not going to get much better than this. So. Okay. Let's continue with this. I have Vicious by V.E. Schwab. Is it any good for branching out? I would definitely recommend Vicious. That's one of my favorite books of all time. Um, we do have an adult main character, but we also do like follow a younger character in the Mickey role that they befriend. Um, I found their writing pretty easy to follow. It's a bit slower in pace, but it's like another character driven book, but I love it. I love it a lot. Um, what can you do with a major in English? Oh, thank you to people who are also responding to other people in the comments um, when there's been like duplicate questions asked. I very much appreciate it, but um, as someone asked, what will I do with a major in English? A lot of people do assume that you will just you can only become an English teacher. Um, but like, as um. As Sarah Knight Al responded, I'm working in publishing, so that's another route you can take. I'm really not sure what else uh, you can do, um, but I mean, it. Like with the publishing industry, for example, you don't have to have a specific degree. I know that, like a lot of people that do have do work in publishing, have gotten like a range of degrees, and they um, then found themselves in publishing. It probably wasn't what they'd anticipated, um, or kind of aimed. To, uh, the, it was probably it might not have been the industry they aimed to work in when they were doing their degree. So <clears throat> if there's other jobs out there that aren't super specific on what kind of degree you have to have in order to apply and get that job, then maybe I can just go. Uh, I'm also going into book publishing. My major is graphic communications media. Ooh, screen printing, book printing, and graphic design as well. That's awesome. I wish my, I think, I'm pretty sure my university has a graduate degree to do with book publishing. Um, I've done a diploma in book editing and publishing as well, but that is awesome. That sounds like a really fun degree to do. I feel like there's not a huge amount that's been specific in book publishing where I'm in. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, okay. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to think. <sighs> not too much more on here, and then I will. I think I'm not sure if I'm going to completely reorganize all of the colors at the moment. Like, they're kind of in the places I want to be. There's just like rearranging specific books so it blends more seamlessly. But. I don't know if I can be bothered to do that just because I'm getting hungry. So after I finish organizing this section, I may finish up this video. Just as a heads up. It is, also, is it also incredibly unlikely for you to be able to find my message on Goodreads? Uh, probably not, but I actually, I don't read my uh, messages on Goodreads. Now that I know, I can probably find it, but um, I don't actually read messages on Goodreads. I don't, I think I actually opted out of receiving notifications from that. Um, it's just not a place that I check, I like ever have thought to check, to uh, be honest. So I just never got in the habit of actively responding there. But now that I know that there have been questions asked, I will try to remember to go and find them. Okay then.
than I anticipated. Is a beautiful ser uh, creature series worth reading? I'd like to, but nobody seems to like it. I liked the first book, but I mean, if you're tempted to try, maybe, like for me personally, I liked the first one. Um, I actually really liked it. I'm pretty sure I rated it five out of five stars when I read it. The second and third books I've read, but I'm not a huge fan of them. Um, yeah, I don't. Th I think the series kind of peters off a little bit. So, if it's something that you definitely want to try, maybe just give the first book a go. See if you like it. If, if you have the desire to continue, maybe you can try the next one. But with something like that, if you can find it at the library, just like give it a, a like a test read and see how you go with it, then maybe give that a try. <clears throat> just because, yeah, it's ones that it's one that do did seem to start out strong and then kind of fell off. A little bit as it continues. Oh, okay. So we're getting there. That's a grey one. These two are slightly grey. Okay, that's right here. Yes. You can see so many. Okay. Oh well, I'll just have to look at it. <clears throat> Sorry, I didn't mean to be boring and just random. I keep like getting distracted. Not distracted, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Organizing the bookshelves. Any favorite sci-fi books series? The Lunar Chronicles oh, by Marissa Meyer. That's kind of sci-fi fantasy. King Killer Chronicles by Patrick Rothfuss. Illuminate The Illuminate Files by Amy Kaufman and Jay Christoph. That one's fantasy. Um, the Assassin's Curse Duology by Cassandra Rose Clark. That one's fantasy. Martian sci-fi kind of yes well I mean like contemporary sci-fi um more happy than not is actually science fiction like there's a science fiction element but it reads like a contemporary it feels very contemporary um <clears throat> vicious by V.E. Schwab if you <laughs> if you looked at my recent like favorite standalones and favorite series videos the majority of the books that I talk about fall under sci-fi or fantasy or both. So I feel like I keep repeating the same books when I'm uh, given us oh when someone asks for recommendations. But I just this I just they're all so good. Okay, back to this. Um You can see one. No! Oh. See, why do these two have to be different colors? They're just rude. Okay. Okay. So it's not, you don't get a huge view of ones that aren't black behind there. I might have to rearrange them a tiny bit so that it's not quite as obvious because that labyrinth book there is going to irritate me because you can see it. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to rearrange that a little bit. Okay. Oh, 
What do I put this? Oh no, that's not a good one. Never mind. Okay, so the bottom two shells are practically done. Assassin's Creed is amazing. Yes, I loved it. Um. Whew. I actually haven't finished the Mar. Mara Dye series. I've read the first two books. I don't own the third, so I have not read yet that one. It's been so long as well since I've read the first two ones that I've kind of forgotten what happens. Um, I've read the first book of the Lux series as well. <coughs> I should do more live Q&As like this. Probably, like, I've been wanting to do one for so long and this is kind of the perfect opportunity to do it. So I'm glad that you guys are enjoying it and then I know that you're likely to join in again if I do one in the future, so hopefully I can do another one again. I do not... Huh, I may... Okay. I find it hilarious that I look fit because I'm really not. Um, I went to the gym yesterday and that was the first time in maybe five years. Um, and I also did yoga yesterday, which, the which was the first time in about four years. <laughs> no, three years. Something like that. Um, I don't exercise much at all. I exercise by reading. Exercise my eyeballs. That's pretty much all that counts. Okay. I just realized I've got books here that actually probably should... Oh, I found the book I was talking about earlier. Okay, well at least that's fine. But I do have books on here that I should probably put back on the shelf. No! Because I'm not going to get to these anytime soon. Damn it! Okay, so... <sighs> what have I done? Okay, I'm going to have to rearrange a little bit because I've got to squeeze another book in here. So... Oh no, does that have to go on this one? Oh yes it does. Yikes. Oh no. Can I squeeze this somewhere because it's not going to fit? No, I'll squeeze this one. Because that better fits in there that actually is grey. Um oh it's gonna fit. Yes! Okay, so that's there. Okay. It's alright. I will manage. I got this. Um I'm going to rearrange again because I don't want white popping up above black. Defeat! I hope it's the moment! Oh no. Um, what do you think about the new edition of the Assassin's Curse technology? I can't... I remember someone um, showing it in a video possibly or talking about it, but I can't actually remember what the cover is. And it, did they do a bind up of the two books as well? Um, I'll have to look it up because I can't remember. I've only seen it briefly mentioned or like in passing. And so I'm not 100% sure. Like, I can't think of what it looks like at all. I'm not sure what the cover is. Okay, Copper Prince, Copper Princess. The white queen. That was there. The map is me. So we're going to put shorter books.
think this works. And then I just need to pop this one in here. shelves of double stacked black books. A lot of black there. Okay, so oh no. I think I might rearrange things a little more. Because I'm gonna have to have these two shelves double stacked and because I want some of the colour to show, I'm going to want to get rid of some of these black books. So I might pick and choose a few more that don't work that great here to put behind the coloured ones. Oh gosh, this is interesting. Oh, okay, it's now called Magic of Blood and Sea. I don't know how I feel about that title. Um, I, it's definitely not as fitting as the Assassin's Curse and the Pirate's Wish. I do prefer the old titles and I really like the covers. I will... So I don't want to type too much just because it actually moves the computer. I'm just going to quickly Google it. So what is it called? Magic of Blood and Sea. Hmm. Are you excited for Because You Love to Hate Me? How is the experience for you? I'm really excited because as of yet, I think I've got a chapter sampler. So I think there's three partner, like, booktube and author partnerships included in the chapter sampler. And I think it was, and all I know is that there was Sasha's one with, who was she partnered with? Was it Susan Dennett? I can't remember. Unfortunately. But I'm really excited to actually read the rest of the people's short stories um, and like complement like introduction essays as well. I'm really excited to see what the rest of the book looks like because I've got no idea. And overall the experience has been really good. Like deadlines in me don't go well, so that was a bit tricky at times. Um, but I I really liked coming up with the prompts for my author who is Adam Silvera and I am in love with his story that he wrote for it. He was telling me how much fun he had writing it um, and you can tell because I think the short story works really well. So okay. Okay the cover of... Hmm. I do prefer the cover for the Assassin's Curse. Um, what is this? Oh, okay. So there's the Wizard's Promise and the Nobleman's Revenge. Is that the two short stories or are those... No, they're the different books, aren't they? Um, that Cassandra Rose Clark wrote. So there's another omnibus like find-up of those books as well. Hold on, let me look. Uh, yeah, so that's a different series, Magic of Wind and Mist, so that's a different one. Interesting. Interesting. It was a real shame that the publisher closed down, that did publish the original ones. <sighs> have I read everything? Everything. No, I have not. And since I, like, since buying it, I've heard about, I know what the twist is in the story, and I've heard about, like, the problematic things about it. So I'm not super pumped to read it anymore. Yes! Sarah, I just saw your comment. And I'm confused if it's all showing up or if I missed your other comment. <laughs> Has the book you... Has the book you collaborated on with different um, booktubers and prompts come out yet? No. So Because You Love to Hate Me comes out in the States in July. It's not actually out in, in Australia until September. Um, 
So that's coming out later this year. I'm very excited about it. <clears throat> Favourite romance novel? The only romance that I have on my favourite shelves is the Bronze Horseman Trilogy by Paulina Simons. That's probably like the only romance I've read. I think. Aside from like young adult contemporary romances. Um, that's what this comes from. Do, do, do. <sighs> okay. So. I'm going to try and think of which books to put behind as well. What's the best place to find the Assassin's Curse series? Well, finding the original editions is going to be pretty much impossible because the publisher uh, closed down. Um, I, but it's been picked up by another publisher that's republished the Assassin's Curse and the Pirate's Wish, Pirate's Wish as a bind-up. So I'm assuming that you should be able to find it at any good bookstore. Let me just have a quick look and see who the publisher is. Um, so it's a, I'm pretty sure it's available now. It said in early February. I'm not sure when this post January 2015. So that should be available now. I'm not sure if the publisher is a kind of a quick look. Um, I can't see who the publisher is, but I'm assuming you should be able to find it at your bookstore. My favourite place to buy books? Well, I really like going to Dimmicks because I have a loyalty card and every dollar that you spend you get a certain amount of points, which converts into a certain amount of dollars, which you can then use to buy books. So at the moment I've accumulated about 30 or 40 dollars in my loyalty points that I can use to buy books, so that'll get me two books which is awesome so I'll get two books for free I've been saving it up so that I could just like splurge when I don't have any money and buy a couple of books I feel like it how long would it take to reorganize if you weren't doing this live probably half the time um because I've been very distracted doing this I also kind of need to go to the bathroom but I don't want to leave and just have you guys watching nothing for like a minute so i'm gonna hmm okay let me oh oh i hope you guys couldn't hear my knees cracking just then so getting to the stage i'm gonna have to get some more books that i want to put behind i'm gonna just randomly pick up one instead of just being a bit tricky for me that one's a bit tricky. That one I've already got showing, so I can just pop that one behind anyway. I need to do ones that are smaller. I'll just pop all of the mass, uh, mass market paperback because they'll easily squeeze behind other books. That's a mass market. I'll do that as well. Why not? <laughs> what else do I have? That's mass market. I'll see how tall I can put these in the market ones, like, if I can sweep all of them. Oh my, that would be ideal. So that will work. I've already done another one. These, okay, I've got one more space. Okay. <sighs> what else can I do? Sorry, I keep getting distracted in here. <laughs> You're not done yet. Are you planning to stay online for the whole day? I'm going to finish up soon, I think. Um... Oh my gosh, and a, a copy of the original going for $155 on a books. That is, oh. like, not surprising because obviously they're now becoming, like, a rare thing because there are only so many printed, but, like, 
my gosh. <laughs> I'm really, really happy that I got the original covers. Compared our bookshelves on Goodreads, we have exactly 100 books in common. That's awesome. For those of you that have sent a request on Goodreads, if you have Twitter, do you mind tweeting me so I can remember your names? Um, because there's a lot of people that I'm like recognizing in the comments. Um, so I can remember your names and then I can find you in my... Um, I could write it down if you don't mind reminding me. I know that was Maddie. Just because I feel bad if I completely forgot to do this. I have to bed. Um... How does it feel to know your videos are watched all over the world? It's a little bit scary. I try not to think about that. Like, it's scary thinking about, like, the number of people, but it's also so cool how there's people from around the world that have access to my videos. Like, with, um, like, I have my videos available to be closed captioned by the community, so that's, that's what I call it. Um, so anyone can close caption my videos. And I find it really cool that there's been people translating my videos into, <sighs> what were they? German and Spanish and French and Italian. And just, uh, I find it incredible. Um, the only reason why I haven't added people on, I haven't actually added people on Goodreads in a really long time because I have 10,000 requests and I've hit my maximum limit of 5,000 friends. So I haven't been able to add more people, but occasionally I'll go through and delete anyone who has been inactive for about three years um, from the friends list, just because I feel really bad that there's people that have like, sent in a request for so long. Um, but if, I'll ha I haven't actually double checked Goodreads in a few days, I haven't actually updated it in a couple of weeks. So if I can add more people, I will have you guys noted because it's been great chatting with you guys. Um, I will get a pen if I can find one. Okay. So we have a Maddie. Sorry. I can try and find your friend request, but if it was it was a few months ago, it's going to be kind of hard to um, go through and find you since there's like hundreds of pages <laughs> of them. <clears throat> Moby Wrangler. My sister's cat says hi. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> um, Jacqueline Patterson. Many Bruce. Okay. If any of you have also added me, just like holla so I can try and add you if I have able to add more people or make room. Okay. I'm going to quickly try and do a little bit more of this because I'll need to finish up soon because I need to eat and go to the bathroom. But. Two different colors. shelves for the neutral colours and then I will have to condense that a bit but I've only got one shelf of colour that I'm going to have to put behind other ones which isn't too bad I can just pull 
can pick them random ones like this, which won't work, for example. Um. <clears throat> I know, I'm still not done. It's so ridiculous. You can resend so she can find it easily. Yeah, if anyone's added me months ago and um, would like to resend the friend request so it's easy, easier for me to find you, then let me know. Um, maybe... I think I've got everyone who said that. I could only imagine that it takes days for her to do a big shelf. These are the only shelves that I've got at the moment. Uh, these are all of the books that I have out of boxes at the moment. Okay. Oh, thanks Angelica! Love it! Um, thanks for tweeting that through, that's super handy. Have a good sleep though. And thanks for watching and chatting. Angie Tang. Let it. Okay. Continuing on. So. Oops. So I need to make sure I've got blue at the top of these ones. If I can make it happen. And then this will work nicely. <clears throat> Woo! Okay, I probably shouldn't have done that one there. They're, they're gonna take the least gonna add a ring, so I'll do it up first and bigger ones. So I'm still talking to myself. <laughs> What's my name on Goodreads? Um, Amelia, I'm not sure if that was to me or not. Um, if it was, my name is Katrina, in brackets, Little Book Owl. But if you need the link, it should be in the description of this video. Um, I always have them in the description. Or if you go to my channel page, I've got it linked on the top right where all of my social media things are. <coughs> I'll deal with it. So Oh, I need purple. What am I doing? Purple goes there. So Purple, why you do this to me? I think I might have to pop that one behind as well because that's a funny ass color. Ooh. <laughs> it's 2 a.m. in Texas. I have all three fans right in my face. I'm so cold. I love it so much. I wish I loved the cold. I wouldn't have a problem in winter, but I just freeze. And I. Ugh, it's awful. Maria, I'm writing your name down as well so I can find you. Um, Amelia, do I have any? No, but I do now. Uh, I also started, oh, rereading Defacing Akamath. I've been loving seeing everybody re, -re like, sorry, defacing their Akatar Akamath books. I really want to do it, but I just would be so anxious about screwing it up. And it would bother me a lot. I sent a Goodreads request too. Um, Panda Elf, do you mind giving, uh, sharing what your 
name is on Goodreads, if it's different from Panda Elf, I'll write that down. But if it's not that, then I might have a bit more trouble finding you. Um, I mean, I can just add everybody that's recently added me. That should be no problem. It is autumn here, so yes, it's almost winter, but it's still like a reasonable temperature. Um, and it's almost 5 p.m. here. What time did I start? I started at like 1 p.m., didn't I? I've been going for a long time, guys. <clears throat> Can't see top of my screen. Can you do a short video of all of yours and Alice's figurines and a mini house tour? Um, I can definitely do a video of my figurines at some point. I'm not. I don't really feel comfortable doing a house tour. This is my parents' house, so it's not all like my stuff. Plus, it is very messy at the moment. And colder than normally get in Sydney. Uh, not very. I think the average, like, cold is... I don't know. Like, I think the coldest I've experienced in Sydney is probably, like... That's the thing. It's usually overnight, so I don't even experience it. It's probably down to, like, 2 degrees Celsius. But I think the coldest during the day is probably around, like, 7 or 8. And that's if it's a freezing day. But usually it's warmer than that. So it's not awful. I just can't deal with the cold at all. At all. <laughs> oh. Good morning from Croatia and from India. Oh my gosh, hi people! Love it. Okay, I am... Still trying to figure out what I'm doing here. I don't know what to do with the purple. Because they're such randomly bright purple. Maybe I'll... Okay. That's indoor. Well... That's a do. Okay, this is a bit easier to deal with. So that's... If you can't deal with the cold, I don't think Kano would be the place for you. Yeah. Yeah. At the same time, though, I went to New York and America over Christmas and New Year's. And it was pretty damn freezing most of the time, but I managed to deal with it. But at the same time, I was, like, prepared for it to be super cold, so I wore, like, five layers. But here, I usually, like, leave the house, um... And I'm wearing like maximum two layers, but it's not enough. But like inside, it's really warm. So I just, I don't know. It's hard. Um, not this house, your house when you and Alex are staying. I moved back home. So the place that Alex and I were staying in before is now off the market and I cannot access it. Okay. Bye, Maddie. I also want to know about booktube tips for starting out and as I want to. Cool. Definitely. If you wanted to chat, hit me up. Um, but go and eat. I will be joining you soon because I'm hungry. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> okay. Sorry, I keep getting distracted. I'm going to half do this and half chat and then I'll be finishing up soon. Oh! Man down! So that and that can go. That's too tricky to try and do the color. That one's a tricky one. Let's not deal with that. Or that. Okay. And that one too. Huzzah! Alright. So. to 
put this. <laughs> that fits better there because my shelf is dipping because it's been filled with heavy books. Sorry, I keep forgetting to answer questions while I'm doing this. <laughs> um, Melbourne's pretty chilly at the moment too. Yeah, Melbourne's colder than it is in Sydney, isn't it? I loved Melbourne when I went though. I really, really liked the city. I could see myself moving there, for sure. Um, right. We are getting there. Let's move these guys. They are funny colors as well. That's just not going to work. Two? Right. Ah, this. Do you like to hike out to scenic places and just read? I do have a lake um, that's pretty easy for me to get to, and I really enjoy going to the lake. Um, it does take, like, it's a really nice place to go for a walk, but it's also a really gorgeous spot for reading as well. So I, I really do enjoy um, taking some time and just sitting by the lake and having a bit of a read. It's really lovely. Um, I haven't done that in a while. A little while, but I do enjoy it, so hopefully I can do that sometime soon. I think we're hitting the point where I won't need to put books behind soon. Um, I think I did. Um, let me just squish books up along here as well. We might be able to make some more room. And hopefully, I don't have to do another shelf. So, uh, I'm going to get it Okay. <gasps> I think it's going to fit. I'm going to be so happy if it does. But then we have the problem of I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I have a book haul coming up with over 20 books, guys. I didn't think about this. That will be interesting. Oh my god! Guys! I have room. Not much room, but I have room. Okay, I have room to fit maybe three books. Never mind, I've got to put this on here. Are there any other books that I should put away? I think that might be it, everybody. Oh! Y'all! Guys, I think I did it. At least I did it for now. Um... <laughs> um, so I kind of have the books in a relative order that I want them like I've got the reds together and the oranges, yellows, etc together but I need to actually rearrange them within those colours so that they blend together a little better but I think 
I think that's all of the books that need to go on my shelf for now. I've got, I've got a couple extra, but I'm going to be, like these ones, for example, I'm going to be reading during the Dewey's 24-hour readathon. So I can keep those off there. I don't need to bother putting them. Oh, Sherlock Holmes, why? I don't know how to put this on either. This is a funky-ass colour. I'm just going to put it at the very beginning. Let me... Okay, so I don't have any more room for the books that I've recently bought. I'm going to have to double stack this shelf as well. I'm just going to check Sherlock Holmes at the beginning because I'm, I mean, I'm in the middle of it anyway, so that doesn't really matter. Oh, gosh, I found another book. That goes there. Okay. I did it. Um, the readathon is the twen Dewey's 24-hour readathon. It's happening... On the 29th of April and it actually it doesn't start at midnight in your time zone it, there's actually a set time that it starts um, so everybody around the world begins at the same time so Zoe I'm not whereabouts in the world are you um, I can find the link to figure out where um, it starts in your time zone but for me in Sydney it starts at 10 p.m. on the 29th and I think it starts like at 8 a.m. either Eastest, Eastern Time or Pacific Time. I'm in Melbourne. Oh, so it will start at 10 p.m. on the 29th of April for you and finish at 10 p.m. on the 30th of April. Um, so if you're interested in doing it, then definitely recommend it. Um, so it's just a 24-hour readathon. The amount of books you've got to get through, it doesn't matter. It's totally up to you. Um, you can read however much or as little as you like. I'm going to be reading short books, but I've got Hansel and Gretel, Saga, To the Lighthouse, and I will also have Full Metal Alchemist volumes, which ones? 16, 17, and 18. So that's like three graphic novels and one actual novel that I'm going to be trying to read. Very excited about it. <gasps> Does anyone else put pieces of pepperoni in the microwave and eat it like chips? I've never even heard about that. But, like, speaking of pepperoni, I ordered myself a pepperoni pizza last night, and it's still in the fridge. Um, that sounds amazing. How long do you put it in the microwave for? Do you, like, cook it until it's crunchy, or you do, do you cook it until it's just, like, comfortably hot? I mean, microwave, it probably doesn't really go crunchy. You'd have to do it in the oven for that. Um, so I think I kind of answered that question myself anyway. But that is a genius idea. I'm going to have to try that because I really like pepperoni. Now you can't buy a book which is in wrong cut. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, at some point I'm going to have to double stack another shelf. So I can always secretly hide them. Or find somewhere else in the house to hide them. Um, yes, I have read Harry Potter. I started rereading them a couple of years ago and I didn't read the last book so I'll get to that eventually but yes I have read Harry Potter <laughs> if I said your name I can't remember what I was saying um to so the lighthouse is short but hard to get into yeah I have like I'm reading it for my modernism class and modernism is tricky so it's actually going to be pretty difficult to read but I need to read it by the beginning of May so if I haven't read it by then I'm at least needing I at least need to have started it during the readathon so I'll probably like commit to maybe reading 50 pages of it and seeing how I do yeah I'm anticipating it's gonna be a tricky one <gasps> um I prefer hardcover books definitely my favorite Death Note character is L. I was also really fascinated by Light, like his development throughout the whole series, but like my favourite character is definitely Elle. Um, are you getting the house editions? Yes. Yes. 
Um, so you know how I work at Bloomsbury? I have been taking some photos of the new Harry Potter editions. <sighs> How do I feel about Jude Law playing Dumbledore? I'm actually kind of excited about it. Like, I'm, I'm really interested to see how it works. Like, um, a lot of people are really wary of it, but I'm kind of, I'm optimistic about it. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, do you have any books that are really special to your heart? Hmm. I, a lot of the ones that I read when I was younger, absolutely, just because like the nostalgia of it and just reminds me a lot of the younger days. Um, but, hmm, what's the one? I don't know, just like, The Book Thief does really have a special place in my heart. I just, it's like instantly became my favourite and I can't not love it dearly. Is there more Fantastic Beasts? I thought there was only one. There's only one Fantastic Beasts book, but they're doing, how many movies is it? Is it three movies? Or did they decide on more? Oh, didn't they reveal that they were doing more movies after that? I can't remember. I might be mixing things up in my head. <clears throat> Um, yes, I'm still here. <laughs> oh, it's been going for a little while. Um, I, so I was in, I will answer a lot more about my job at Bloomsbury, but briefly I was doing an internship at a publisher called Pantera Press and Pantera Press and Bloomsbury have, a, um, they've got like a pretty good relationship. So when Bloomsbury had a job opening, they asked Pantera if they knew of anyone that would be interested and they recommended me, so that kind of recommendation was a bit of a reference for me, so it kind of really helped out with the job process in terms of getting a job at Bloomsbury, so that was very special. <laughs> Fantastic piece of five movies. Yeah, I think originally it wasn't meant to be free. I know that they announced more, but five movies. Okay. Why? Like... I, I just, like, I'm excited about it. I really did enjoy the first Fantastic Beasts movie, but I'm just like, how are they making five movies based off of, like, a teeny tiny book that's not actually a story? It's, like, a book that was as if it was from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Um, but yeah. I was really, really happy with the first movie, so I'm excited to see how they go with the rest of them. How do you get a job working at a bookstore? I want to know if there's any secret tips. I would like to know as well. I would love to work in a bookstore. Um, from what I can tell, like, it's probably better to... Yeah. It's hard because I've applied to jobs at bookstores, but you seem to need to have bookstore experience. So, I don't know. My impression is that applying when you're... Is it based on Australia, anyway. Applying when you're younger... Um, as soon as you can get a job is probably the best way to go because a lot of bookstores seem to want book retail experience. The Knife of Never Letting Go, I didn't like it. I was unimpressed with it. Like, I enjoyed it, but I was kind of like, this is what everybody's been raving about. Like, I was kind of just like, eh, eh. Yeah, I'm glad that she's like, like actually working with the scripts, and so it's you know it's actually coming from the right brain, definitely. Um, it's like I'm really excited to see what else they have. I'm just kind of amazed that they've uh, made five movies out of a tiny book. Hmm. I've had retail experience before, but they, the ones that I've applied to have been specifically book retail, not general retail. Getting bookstore jobs is all about knowing someone that works there. Yeah. It's who you know. <laughs> what do you think of Harry Potter and the Cursed Child? I'm not really a fan. Like, I felt like... I don't know. I... It was a fun read, but 
it didn't feel like an authentic Harry Potter book to me. Um, like it, it did to me. It did feel kind of like fan fiction. So it was nice to go back to the world, but um, I kind of wished that I hadn't read the screenplay and actually had the opportunity to see the play itself. Um, so I think that would have been a better way to experience the story, probably. Did you finish the rest of the Knife of the Never Letting Go series? I listened to the audiobooks of them and I didn't find that they got any better. Um, it was definitely easier reading it on audio because it's much easier to read, like, when someone's talking at you <laughs> or telling you the story. So, yeah. I mean, if you didn't love the first book, I wouldn't recommend picking up the other ones. I thought they were okay. How long have I been going? I can't actually see my window, my internet browser isn't, is like, it's half frozen, so it doesn't let me scroll all the way to the top to see how much time has elapsed. So I'm not sure. <laughs> um, okay. I'm going to spend another three hours, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to probably spend another five, maybe ten minutes answering some questions and then I'm going to go because I've put books on the shelf. I'm like semi, I've semi reorganized them, but I'm going to have to eat lunch. It's dinner time. I'm going to have to eat lunch <laughs> and I do need four hours. Oh my gosh. Four hours. Well, it's been a really long time. Um, I need to eat. So I'm going to do that after this. Um... I've actually, oh, I did read a little bit of Twilight fanfiction back in the day, but I haven't, I think it was probably like two that I read, but not religiously or anything. Um, I've not really read any other fanfiction, actually. What is it? Have you read other Zuzak novels? I've read uh, The Messenger, or I Am The Messenger, and I liked it, but like nothing compares to The Book Thief. <laughs> <clears throat> have you seen the cover of the Prisoner of Azkaban Illustrated Edition? Oh my gosh, yes. I am in love. I think this is the best cover that they've done, like the best illustrated cover that they've done so far. I love it so much. Plus it's like kind of like dark bluey purple and purple is just my favourite. So I think it's beautiful. I read the, thir the first Throne of Glass, Would You Carry On? I think it really depends because I think a lot of people, like uh, for me at least, the books have been getting better, but I haven't read the fifth one yet. Um, so, how much did you like Throne of Glass? Because it depends. Because I rated Throne of Glass 3, and then Crown of Midnight 4, and then Air of Fire 5, Queen of Shadows I also really liked. Um, but I thought they improved. Okay. You're welcome. <laughs> Um, the Prisoner of Azban Illustrated is not out. We've only just... Okay, if you rated it for, I would recommend reading on. Yeah, definitely. Um, if you had, like, a really... If you hated Throne of Glass, then I would, probably wouldn't continue. Even though they do get better, there's probably a reason that might have continued later on uh, throughout the rest of the books. But... Sorry, I was half answering a question. Uh, Prisoner of Azban Illustrated is not out. We've... Um, just recently revealed the cover for it. I can't remember which month it comes out. Is it August? No, September. Somewhere towards the end of the year. I have read The Night Circus. Um, what are you conflicted about it? I really, I really liked it. Um, I've been wanting to reread it. So, eventually I will. Have you read the Scarlet and Ivy series? Um, what's the title of the first? Um, is it Scarlet and, called Scarlet and Ivy? It's not ringing any bells, so I probably haven't read it. Um, I'm only halfway through Akatar so far, so hard to say. Um, I feel like I probably can't answer that question. But if any anyone else has read all of The Throne of Glass as well as Akatar and Akamath, would if no, yeah, if you've read it, if oh my gosh, um, yes. <laughs> my brain just died. <laughs> um, if anybody else has read all of the Sarah J Mass books and someone's only read Akatar, would you recommend Throne of Glass to them? Um, have you read Ship of Theseus yet? The book by J. Oh, so uh, the S book. No, I haven't. That's down the bottom there. I will read it one day. It, I'm really excited about it. Scarlet and Ivy, the Lost Twin. No, I haven't read that one. 
Um, it doesn't sound very familiar to me. Have you read, have you watched or slash read Outlander slash do you plan to? I haven't watched or read it, no. Um, I was going to, but I'm kind of like annoyed at Diana Gabaldon after the stuff that happened on Twitter, the things she said and pretty much um, offending everybody doing an English degree and working in the fast food industry. <laughs> so, yeah. That reminds me, someone did ask a question earlier on talking about reading books by authors that they don't like or disagree uh, with in some ways and how I feel about that. And it's like, to some extent, I think separating from the art, separating art from the artist, like, can be okay. Like, I don't, I don't know. It's a tough one because it, I think it really depends on what it is that I have an issue with. Um, and it's like, am I... I have to ans ask myself the question, am I okay financially supporting this author based on the things that they've said slash done slash believe? So it really does depend on the situation. So <sighs> yeah, it's a tricky, a tricky one. How many books do I usually read in a month? Well, at this point in time, averaging about three to four. I used to read a bit more than that. I have not read Dearly Departed. Um, 3rd of October for Illustrated Axepian. I was completely off with August and September. And I should know this. Shame on me. Favourite OTP? Hannah and Nick in general. Or maybe... Press and Captain Thorn. <laughs> I love Thorn. Um... How about James Spray? Yeah, I'm the only reason I read Endgame is was because I was sent it to read and review. I had a bit of a, um, I was being sent books monthly by a bookstore to read and review them, um, and I was super conflicted about reading that one. I decided to do it, um, but I've do I still have Endgame? I was planning on getting rid of Endgame, so if I still have it, I. I've been wanting to unhaul it, but that's one author that I don't really feel happy supporting. Um, not only because of what happened with um, his book, but with his book packaging company and how it's, uh, like, from what I've heard, um, how it doesn't, it takes advantage of the authors a little bit. Um, I don't believe people in the entertainment industry should be giving political advice anyway. Yeah, it's, it's really... Yeah, it's, it can really damage things if they do spew political stuff on Twitter and stuff. Because people get so up in arms about politics and very strong viewpoints, so there's going to be a lot of backlash and that type of thing. Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card. I have decided not to read Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card. Um, what author was I talking about? Um... The last author I was talking about was James Frey. Favourite book ever. I've received this question so many times, but I will say it again anyway. Um, the Book Thief by Marcus Zusak or The King Killer Chronicles by Patrick Rothfuss. A book about Thorn and Cress's adventures? Yes, absolutely. Favourite book convention? Any you haven't attended that you wish to go to? All of them. The only one I've been to is Book Expo Australia. Um, the first year I went was a lot of fun. The second year was a bit of a disappointment. Um, um, I think it's I think it's a bit tricky for that one just because it was run by um, an individual rather than like it doesn't I don't think it's had yet gotten enough support like financial support behind it to make it as big as it could be. So that's the only convention that I've been to. I would love to go to so many in the states. One day it will happen. All of them. I want to go to all of them. The Book Thief is a book set during World War II. It is narrated by Death, and it follows the story of a young girl named Liesel who is sent to live with foster parents, um, and she's a book thief, and it is beautiful. The main appeal for the Kingkiller Chronicles. 
it's definitely a type of book that not everyone's going to enjoy. I think the reason why I liked it was because it was such a character-driven book and I really enjoyed learning about the world and everything. Um, so I think people going into it expecting a lot of action would definitely be disappointed. Um, and if you're not a huge fan of slower paced books, it's probably not the right, uh, the right one for you as well. I don't know, I just find it really, I found it really easy to read. Um, I enjoyed learning about Kvothe and his adventures and like he's a bit of he's a bit of a stubborn one <laughs> but I really liked learning about the magic and stuff um and the university as well I really enjoyed that setting and I just liked um knowing how he his life like knowing how things have ended up for him but not knowing the story and wanting like I really enjoyed learning about his life knowing where it ended but wondering how he got to be there if you could write a book, what genre would you like to write? Probably fantasy, I think. Fantasy all the way. <clears throat> My favourite Harry Potter book. Probably three or four. I mean, when I reread the books, I said six. But every time I think of the sixth book, I can't really remember what happens. So I'm like, if I can't really remember it, it can't be a favourite. You know? Book is so, so devastating. Shantaram. Oh, so have I read? No, I haven't actually. By an Australian author based on his journey to India. I have not read it. Um, my favorite, my Hogwarts house, sorry, is Hufflepuff. Absolutely. I think I'm going to finish up, guys. Um, f if any of you have been here the entire time, I'm so proud of you, and my gosh. <laughs> This has been going for so long, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this anyway, and thank you everybody um, for coming along and joining me as I reorganized my bookshelf, kind of, like really loosely reorganized it. It took me four hours to do this and I'm still not done, but I'm giving up for today because my lunch is overdue by a few hours. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you guys so much. Um, I had a great time and thanks for chatting with me and asking all of your questions. I hope you enjoyed. Um, and yeah, f like a reminder as well for any of you who um, have added me on Goodreads, um, I apologize if I haven't added you already, but I reached the maximum amount of friends, but I'm going to try and go through and add any more people if I've got any inactive people on my friends list. Um, so for those of you... Um, if you have, uh, sorry, my brain just went off again, but I will try and add you guys. I will try and remember. I've got my list here of people who said that they added me on Goodreads, so I'll try and do it. And then, yeah, I definitely hope to do this more often because it's a lot of fun, but I definitely do need to go to the bathroom. So, <laughs> oh, and thank you. Thank you so much for subscribing, Zoe. I'm glad you had a nice time here. Um, if you have um, I'm not going to get it up here, but if you go to my channel, on the right hand side, all of my social media buttons are there. I should have Goodreads there. Um, if you just, otherwise, if you just Google Little Book Owl Goodreads, I'd probably pop up as one of the first ones. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, guys, and hopefully, I will see you again with another live show soon. We shall see, hopefully. But yeah. <laughs>